Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for them. Ha, look. I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, cause I'm on a mission. I'm getting what stands in my way. Yeah, I'm a beast. I wouldn't play with me, baby. The way that I'm training is crazy, and I do it daily. You want to talk about drive? I got more drive than Mercedes. I've never been late. I'm in the room. It's a red alert. You want to compete? Well, get better first. I got ten toes in the dirt, push through the hurt just to show them my worth, I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be first. Look, I don't want anyone's sympathy. I understand what it's meant for me. I give my focus and energy. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. But mentally, I'm undefeated. They hear that and say I'm conceited. Like there's no reason. Like I don't beat them and beat them and come back again just to teach them. That when you work under pressure, you reach higher measures. They'll try and bring you down, but you cannot let them. And only get better and focus on cheddar. Eye on the prize and you'll become a legend. Like uh, when I'm in the room, it's a red alert. You want to compete, well, get better first. I got ten toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. Ha. Yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. Ha. Yeah, I gotta be first. They don't know what's gotten into me. How'd I turn pain into energy? Through all the struggle and hurt, remember my work, and that's why I gotta be first. <laughs> I'm on the miss a snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me I got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning I'm always learning tell me where to go man I'm on a journey I can't explain it I get excited keep a 300 King Leonidas strap in cuz it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Gotta get it here. I don't want to wait. Take what I want. Then I go train. Gotta get a win. I won't lose the game. This is my year. I ain't gonna break. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride. Working on me every single day and night. What's happening? Yes! What's happening? Let's, Let's go, go Jukes! We're here! So excited to be here with you guys! PUBG Mobile, Snapdragon, Percy Games, but in person this yeah. time! Can't believe it. Can't believe it. We're finally here. We're finally in person. here. In person. How many, how many years have we been doing this? Years. Too so long. many. Dude. So Too many. Long. And you're as good looking as ever in person, if not better, Glitter. Oh. First time meeting you in person. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I can say the same for both of you, but. Yeah, I feel like we're we're missing like a small piece of the puzzle I, here. Dude, imagine. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine if Sam was here. If Sam was here, that'd be that, I mean that'd just be so awesome. It's just it's Guys. Like a whole Huh? What, what what happened to my plane? My plane got yeah. canceled oh. out of here. Dude. You're not Sam. <laughs> 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 it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it to you guys, but man, I hope you guys have an amazing show. I can't wait me. to see 
all the new faces that are gonna be coming up. You guys, all three of you look oh absolutely stunning. Oh, the flight got delayed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll make it tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe. We'll see. Yo, good seeing you guys. Oh Have a God. great show. Is... And maybe I'll see you in the next one. Hey, loosen up that neck pillow, Seven. Oh, loosen it up. <laughs> I like it tight like this. <laughs> oh, All right. You know what? Now I feel oh, like God. that's complete, okay? We got yes. everybody in here. The show is about ready to start. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Snapdragon Pro Series. Woo! mobile action 16 teams will be battling it out today in the spring split of the snapdragon pro series by pmco and today is the finals and in case you couldn't tell from that opener we are ready to have a fantastic time here today i'm your host glitter explosion and i get to be joined by my boys hot jukes and zute guys how you feeling today oh i am so pumped up i literally have goosebumps that intro i mean just having you guys here in person i mean what more could you ask for i'm ready i uh, same this is amazing i am stoked great company and better yet we're gonna have even better games coming up and we're all just gonna be here watching it live together it's gonna be a lot of fun guys it is certainly gonna be a lot of fun and obviously thank you so much to seven for hopping in surprising us like that it was nice to be able to see him we felt like we got the gang all together yet again but of course we got to talk about those games that zute is talking about and if you're kind of wondering what we've got going on here before we dive into all the action first let's break down the format a little bit for everyone yes right let's dive right into it so you can see here it started off with the in-app qualifiers over 4,000 squads attempted to be able to get to that next stage top 128 moved on from north america to the qualifiers and once that all wrapped up it ended up being the top 16 here in the final suite yes top 16 this is a, this is what we're going to be watching today the top 16 of the qualifiers and not just that this isn't done for them there's still another stage the top three move on to the pmnc 2022 yes, so that's sir. what everyone's gonna be looking at they want to make that top three top three man that's it that's it that's it you can see here this is the top 16 squads this is where they all lined up before we got here to the finals let's go ahead and take a look at page two write down your names that you guys should be just spamming the chat with your favorite team that you are rooting for here today and there's a lot of squads a lot of new faces and we're gonna hopefully see some new superstars emerge here some dreams come true and hopefully move oh, on to yes. that next stage listen that is why we love this so much because this is a perfect opportunity for our players our teams to make a name for themselves but they're not playing just for those top three spots there's also some cash on the line here today and that's for everyone that has qualified through you'll see all the way down in 16th place is going to be making some cash but zute you know they're going to be battling it out for that first place prize of fifty five hundred dollars yeah, fifty five hundred that is a lot but the best part yet these guys are playing a video game and they're all going to walk away with some cash but that top three that leads into more cash. So that's what everyone wants to do right now. Get into that top three. Right. Top three. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, Glitter. It's going to be an interesting day to see who even ends up in those spots. But of course, we got to do some chatting, okay? Before okay. we break mm -hmm. right. everything down. Before we get into the games, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. You are now in the analyst spot here, Jukes, and I'm going to start with you. I want to know which team you're keeping your eyes on here today. All right. 
my team I'm looking at has to be none other than OSS Esports. I don't care what you guys say. It could be, you know, the top team that qualified over here. But you know what? I don't care about their stats. I'm looking at the bottom right there. Boyo! That is the name of a player. <laughs> it's Chicken! Right? They're going for chicken dinners. They got some of the most there. And look at the plays here. That we're going to take a look at some of the highlights as they led up to this here tournament. And man, look at this. Out in the open, one of their players is knocked. A beautiful Molotov to kind of just give his team a little bit of breathing room. The shimmies. Oh, oh, oh. Left and right. You know these guys <laughs> are looking to get some of that big cheddar here. 15 eliminations in this match alone. But you know, hey, when you're at the top, definitely puts a big target on your back. So they're going to be the squad to beat, I think, here when it comes to the Snap Dragon Pro Series. Mm, okay. All right. I respect the pick. A little bit obvious. You know, the first place seed, they did do very well. So you're not necessarily wrong. But I want to know if you took the same path, Zute, okay? Which team are you keeping your eyes on? You know what? Jukes had the easy pick. I'm going to go for the tougher one. I'm going to go for just for fun. Now, they were on the second page. But the reason why I'm picking them is... Once you get to this level of the tournament, the nerves start kicking in and players start getting, you know, nervous. They start messing up. But if you're playing the game just for fun, you got no pressure. And that's mm. when you can play to your best ability. I mean, look at this. You were talking about the shimmies out of your player. Look at my guy. Left, right. He's got the jukes too. And not just that, man. Finishing out those eliminations. And Tracy, long range. I didn't see that in your highlights from okay, your team, okay. Hodrix. <laughs> my guy. My team, I think they got what it takes. And, I mean, we saw the scores. It was close. Anybody could take top three. So my money's on just for fun, Hot huh, Jukes. Hey, you know what? I think you got a good point there, okay? You know, but at the end of the day, their name was just for fun. That was during the qualifiers. If they can make a name change right now, it's got to be for just for one. Because they're going for that first oh, place, God. right? First place or at least top three. That's what they're going to be going for. So they're going to be sweated up here today. It's too early for the puns. Okay. It's too, All right. it's it's too early. early. There had to, there had to be it's somebody, too early. right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun day today, folks. All right. Now, we're talking about how the format works, how the tournament works. we got to talk about what maps our players are going to be playing on today. And this is a, situ a, situ a system that we know very well, okay? The schedule, we've seen it many times before. We've got Erangel, Miramar, Erangel, Sandhawk, and then Erangel. And what this means to me, honestly, is that there's no excuses for our players to do poorly, okay? Three times on Erangel. Couldn't say it any better. I mean, I had to say it at least one time. This is the good old fashioned, right? The yes. old fashioned schedule. I mean, this is the team. This is the thing that we've been seeing at the highest league. So a lot of these players that are coming in here, you know, trying to make it to that stage, yeah. they've studied this. I mean, they know these maps. They should know it by the back, back of their hand by now, right, Zoo? Yeah. I mean, back in our days, Hodgix, yeah. when 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 we used to compete ourselves, mm -hmm. this was this was the order that we planned. So yep. it's the tried and true. These teams have no excuses and. PMPL was already finished, so they've got a chance to watch all the pro players play. So they have all these resources at hand to win out and make that top three. No excuses, Glitter. I think this tournament, these two days, it's going to be some very exciting games. See, I love that point too, Zute, because not only are you saying they obviously get a chance to watch the PMPL, they get to learn a lot mm -hmm. from that pro level of play, but we know that the PUBG Mobile ecosystem, it all feeds into itself, yes. right? So not only are they learning from the people better than them, but who knows, down the road, they might end up against those people. Mm -hmm. So it's important to take notes and to use the PMCO to really, really improve on your gameplay in the event that you get some type of an opportunity like that because top three, once again, going to PMNC, and that's a lot of regions at that point when you're going up against everyone. Absolutely. I love the fact that we see right here a whole new system kind of come into this ecosystem so we got you know these teams that are going to start here at this stage and then hopefully get to that pmpl and make their dreams come true i mean we've seen teams yeah. at that high stage mm -hmm. start right here exactly. so i mean this is the ground floor i'm really looking to see that one player what what Remember when we started from oh, PMCO? Oh my gosh, back no. in my day. Uh, back in, uh, hey, the hey, price pools were like this. I'll tell you that right we now. We ended up in Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Off of PMCO. So That's I mean, true. this is the beginning of dreams for these teams. Like the and the ecosystem, like you said, Glitter, yeah, has only gotten bigger and we didn't have these type you of know price what? pools. Speaking of that, Zuke, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Talking about the good old days, right? All I right. think we got a little surprise for you here. We do. Yeah, look oh at no. that right here. <laughs> oh, oh my God. goodness. <laughs> look at oh. that hair, Sue. Was oh. this a choice? Was the hair a choice? Tell us about it. Tell, break, it break it down for us. So Zuse. so my career has evolved a lot over time in PUBG Mobile, right? <laughs> As but, has your my, look. but my hair, 
has evolved the most. I don't know how, okay, this is a surprise for me. I was not expecting yeah. this. But throughout the years, my hair has gone through more changes than anything else. And thank, thank you guys for throwing that clip in. That couldn't have tied in any better. The good old days. I kind of miss that hair. Maybe I should uh, dye my hair again. Let me know in the chat, guys. What color should I do next? You know oh. what? That's, that's good that you're asking chat. Chat, tell him to definitely dye his hair. However, we also want to know your opinion on this first match. Okay, we're going to be mm -hmm. throwing up a poll down there at the bottom for you in Twitch chat. Let us know which team you think is going to be coming out on top in this first matchup. We want to hear your voice. We know you guys are typically right, always on top of the ball there in chat. But uh, that's it for me. It's time. I'm getting worried that the first game's ready to go. go. We're dropping on an iron gal, so it's time for me to pass it off to you guys. Let's get it started, baby. Game number one here of the Snapdragon Pro Series by PMCO, Zute. I mean, man, I got to tell you, just watching that footage, just yeah. seeing how far, you know, we've come, how far these tournaments have come. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these players, they've seen, they've seen these, you know, roadmaps, they've seen yes. these journeys, and they want to take part of it. And it starts yeah. right here, this drop down. You know, that throwback is perfect because my my mindset, I, it is locked in with these players because I know what it's like. We both know what it's oh, like. Yeah. The stakes are so high right now. They only got a total of 10 games, right, mm -hmm. to, to make it to that top three. So it's not going to be easy. There's not a lot of games to be passed. So they have to start off on point from the very beginning. And from this plain path, Hot Jukes, I feel like it's going to be an easy start for them. It's not like a crazy playing path where some teams won't be able to get to where they want to go. Yeah, you know what? Uh, now that you say that, it kind of reminds me, I mean, 10 games, that's a lot more opportunities than a lot of the teams in the past used to get, right? Because mm -hmm. before yeah. it used to be three, right? Just three games. Was it three? Yeah, I think it was just three games. Wow, Yeah, like crazy. three games and you had to make something happen. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, it was all over. So 10 games, these players are going to have a lot more chances, a lot more opportunities mm -hmm. to really make it happen. As we see the first circle come yes. on up, Zoo. And hey, you know what? The nerves may be on, but uh -huh. these circles, I mean, they're bringing in the heat here. I love it when we roll around to these like bigger tournament stages. It seems like the circles just always throw players in for a loop. I mean, I wasn't expecting this. You know, we're on Aaron Gill, the tried and true, but we have that 50-50 about to happen. Military Ooh. base or the main island, who knows? And it looks like the Black Panthers, Diego 92K, that's a rough start, landing out in the middle of nowhere, already trying to snake his way in into some loot. Oh, my goodness. And you could tell, like, yeah, he was just kind of trying to be as quiet as possible. Oh, we got another player in the water. So mm -hmm. I think it's probably, yeah, some of these squads were trying to jump for a vehicle yeah. and then just got beat out. And this is super risky, but this is what happens when it always is that first game, that first day. We didn't get a chance to really talk about it earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these teams aren't really familiar with each other's drop locations. Yeah. So, you know, that hot drop opportunity happened. But so far, it looks like, I mean, each player, mm -hmm. each team happened to navigate it pretty well. We don't see anybody down just yet. Yeah, remember, we, we got in here through the top 16 from the qualifiers, and from the qualifiers, there was a lot of teams, so you're absolutely right. These 16 teams, you know, they have not had a chance to get used to each other as much as, like, what we may have saw in True. the PMPL, the Pro League, right? So this is a little bit more of, you don't get as much, you know, time to prepare to play against these other teams, but you have a lot of time to study just the top teams play and iron out your own team's focus. So it looks like just for fun, the yeah, team I picked... Boys. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a little shuttle system, picking up one player and dropping them off, trying to get that loot. But your team, okay, well, no hey. big surprise. Your top dog team is, they they playing the center of the map, Pachinki off drop. So. Hey, pop up Pachinki. Dude, these mm -hmm. guys ain't messing around. It's always that team that lands center of the map. They're going to have a huge advantage for anybody that's just watching here for the first time and kind of understanding PUBG Mobile competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, this zone, it could go anywhere. And when you yeah. land center of the map, it just makes it so easy for you to rotate in pretty much any direction. So mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have that advantage there. But you can see they're looting up quick. They're getting ready, locked and loaded. And we have at least, like, you know, one squad here. They're all the way at military base. They're the only team here. This is Saren. Mm -hmm. And if the zone does lock yeah. all the way down in here in the southern island, I mean, they're going to be in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I, I really want to see a military base, not because of the usual reasons that I just want to see chaos, right? Right. Hot I want to see a military base because I want to see how the, you know, I'll put this in quotations, the amateur teams, sure. right, deal with a military base. We've seen a lot of pro league teams. I mean, they deal with it so well. So many teams make it to military base, but in the PMCO, it could get way more hectic. And speaking about getting hectic right here, J-Star 
getting really close to another team already, but I don't think they are aware there's a player here in their vicinity. Oh, well, they had to now because they just rolled up to one of those buildings, saw that door open. So they had to assume either a team or player is still here or maybe it was already looted. And look at this, yours from Black Panthers. You know, he is just... All right, if you were him right now, what are you screaming to your squad? I hear how many audio footsteps, how many vehicles, am I in a place that I'm, I'm recoverable? Like, can you guys support me? Otherwise, he's just got to try and surprise one and take one down and get that elimination point at this at this stage. Yeah, and, and this is a massive stage. Again, again I got to give a big shout out, a huge thank you to Snapdragon Elite Gaming. When winning matters, this would not be put on without them. I've had the personal opportunity to actually visit with them and i tell you what there is not a lot of companies that want to go and do things for mobile gaming and i'm just like yes yes yeah. and these guys they mean business oh definitely speaking about meaning business did you notice how dior's right there he's already fully boosted he popped those energy drinks in advance because he knows he's about to get into oh, a he's fight. In trouble yeah Oh, and he's got the AK DBS. Here, the first one should be free. Got him. He, oh, he gets the first one, but loses a lot of HP. He tries to confirm that what? point. And he does have teammates nearby. Oh, I love this. He's falling back in line of sight of his teammates, and his other two teammates are coming up. Black Panthers are playing this so well. J-Star might be running into a trap. Dior's, I mean, was basically just the bait here, and now he's at full health, ready to go. And the they J Star's in big trouble. Here oh, come the Black Panthers. That's another one. Yep. And here they go. Just one more to clean up. Oh! Got him from the back, and it looks like done and dusted. Ooh. Dior's three eliminations. Four. Oh, yo, they got so, the whole squad. The whole but squad. Dior's by himself. Yes. Got yes. three by on his own. I mean, what more could you ask for here? Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Just to throw it into the old back in my day type of thing. Tell back, me. Back in our days, PMCO. If that was us, oh, our teammates are gone. Screw yeah. 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 They're like, you're in a 1v4. Good luck. See ya. We're not coming in to help you. I I love seeing that because the teams have definitely evolved over time. They have gotten so much better. This is not something you would expect in PMCO a few years back, but now the level of competition, it just gets higher and higher and higher hot jukes. That was such a beautiful it game was. play there. I mean, he it stood was. completely still, got that first knock, and he meant, like you mentioned, he did. He, he fell back it. right afterwards. Immediately. And and as soon as he fell back, he put himself in a great position exactly. where all the rest of his squad could catch those other members yes. rushing in. And, and they just didn't stand a chance. So, hey, they a step above. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, you know, for J-Star, mm -hmm. maybe you want to keep two... Two by your side when you're looting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's it Too was risky. It was unfortunate for them, but we still got a lot of games left. So even if J Star kind of fumbled that one, there's still a lot of chances for them. Good lesson but, to learn. First yeah, game. That's for very sure. good lesson. But Black Panthers, man, like this team, that was beautiful. That was. I think we're in for a really great two days. Like the just from that one fight, I'm like, okay, I have a pretty good understanding of how these teams will be playing and the level that we should expect out of these PMCO teams. I mean, it's been raised. The bar has been raised across the board. We've seen it at the highest level. And I love to see, you know, this is the first time we see this, you know, Snapdragon Pro Series mm -hmm. here. And it, it looks to be the same. It looks mm -hmm. like we're starting to see even squads that we're not really super familiar with. They're pulling out some really nice plays. Like if honestly, like a, a pro team did that play, mm -hmm. I would I wouldn't be shocked at all. Like that's yeah. I think that's how, exactly how you would execute something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, look at this though. It's your boys. Karma OSS getting a knock. Oh, here they come, Zutip. But it looks like Johnny from the side does get some nice little suppressive fire. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go ahead and throw on that smoke. Try to get his teammate up here, but OSS, you know they want to get that. That was a beautiful knock to help mm -hmm. stop that pressure. Yeah, that's a great knock for OSS, but is OSS an aggressive team? We'll see soon. Usually on the pro stage, one knock, that's a push. And, well, they confirmed uh -oh. the point. That's good for them. So OSS right now with one elimination point. B-Town 2.0. This is 2.0, but doesn't look like it's the 2.0 they were looking for. Already uh -oh. starting off the match with one less player. And the circle has shifted, Hot Tricks. Looks like we will not be seeing that military base chaos. If they had somebody get eliminated early, wouldn't that be B-Town 2.0? Hmm. Wait. 
I'm not following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, never, never mind. Never <laughs> mind. V-Town, great squad. You know, hopefully we'll see greatness oh. from V-Town okay. 2.0 as now. well. You know, uh, <laughs> but yeah, losing a player early, I mean, could be, you know, yeah. something that they're used to having. So we'll see how they're able to adapt as a three-man. Yeah, I, I see you, Jukes. You're, you're already uh, throwing a little bit of... It's a little <laughs> bit sunny. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. But OSS... I like their composure. They get that point, and they're waiting for that circle shift, right? Maybe that's why they didn't commit, because after they saw that circle shift, they're pretty much center, and they realize it's a 4v3. We could get more points, but with that circle, teams might be rotating in, and we might see you know, a potential third party. 100%. I mean, Potato Hill is always a great spot to be in when it comes to the zone just like this. So you can see on the top circle is starting to close. We've got 15 seconds left, and we're starting to see some big rotations. One thing I think I'm looking at here when it comes to this stage is I think I'm seeing a lot more blind rotations than I would mm. like to see. You know, I'd like to see okay. a little bit more leapfrogging. Just go into one spot, stopping, mm -hmm. scouting it out, and then moving from there. Here, we're just seeing a lot of full sands. And look what's about to happen. Yeah, Bug, ooh, putting himself in major harm's way, but looks yeah. like he's got them driving skills to pay the bills. Yeah, he didn't uh, slam straight into the compound, try to bait out some shots, made a little, you know, donut circle, and it worked out. They scouted that area effectively. But you're right, Jukes. That is two teams now that had their first player knocked in the opening in an unexpected, That's prepared true. way. It wasn't like they got a knock onto themselves because they were ready for a fight, but they weren't ready. So teams are definitely, you know, a little bit haphazard with their scouting. It could be the nerves. Yeah. We, we are in the first game, after all. So, you know, that those jitters, they do come in. I'll tell you what. In the latter stages, that kind of checking of a compound, mm -hmm. he's getting busted out that vehicle instantly. Oh, yeah. I've seen some nasty oh. vehicle sprays oh, out of the gosh. Pro League. Yeah. yeah. You are so, not getting away with that. Yeah. So right here, it may work. You know, and so that's the reason why we're definitely like, hey, you know, if the, for the teams that are watching this back, you know, I think that's something that you definitely have to consider because, yeah, in these latter stages, it's, the more you step up, man, you even just get near another squad mm -hmm. and you're in a vehicle, that vehicle is gone. Definitely gone. Another thing I'm noticing, these teams are playing very tight knit, very close together. Usually we see teams a little bit more spread out. So I like this, though. They're playing it a bit more cautiously, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you try and play too high above your skill level, it might lead to mistakes right there. OSS getting shot up a little bit. They're still taking exchanges with B-Town, so they are aware, you know, it's a three-man team. They could peek a little more aggressively because if one of them get knocked, you know, it's a three-man team. Yeah. Less chance for them to, you know, get punished and pushed upon. Yeah, so you can see, uh, I, I think I completely agree. We're seeing all these teams stay very, very close together, which I don't think is a bad thing, especially mm -hmm. here at this stage. You know, as they move on, you know, those four-man split, one-man army kind of strategies, I yeah. think we see have a lot more success. But here, I mean, staying close together, getting consistent points, because yeah. you're really just looking for that top three more mm -hmm. than anything. Yeah, oh, heading into circle number three. That's a hard shift to the northeast. Now, this area of the map, Hot Jukes, Absolutely love. We've got the hills, oh, yes. we've got compounds. We have a few key central positions. So let's see if these teams can capitalize on it. Because I see three spots on the map right now yep. that I would love to take. And two of them are quite open, Hodgick. So let's see which teams will take advantage of that quick rotation Dude, in. Personally, I'm looking at that northern shelter spot right there. That shelter, I yeah. mean, that's going to be a great position uh, for any squad that's looking to take it. It looks like we're seeing a couple teams head in that direction. And we're going to see one squad park their vehicle. Beautifully in place right here by school. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be setting up inside the zone waiting for a crash on compound. Well, we are noticing a little bit slower of rotations to these positions. So I think we're going to definitely see some engagements come on as we're see squads desperately just trying to find a spot. Yeah, a lot of teams still kind of figuring out how to rotate into this circle. Usually we see teams rotate a lot faster the second that circle pops, but there's a little bit of hesitancy going on. First game jitters, you know, that's fine. But speaking about first game jitters, though, I just I want to throw it back to that Black Panthers play, though, because that was composure. No jitters, that's no true. nervous energy. He They played that so well so beautiful like black panthers i have my eyes set on them i know i picked just for fun but black panthers are they're, they're already on my radar for sure it makes sense it makes sense especially considering that you know when you have a good squad wipe like that to start things off mm -hmm. what does that do for your confidence you know um all that momentum is going to be great for them and we'll see how they finish off here i think you know that's a great start mm -hmm. i want to see them finish strong though we do start seeing a couple other eliminations come up here on the feed so we are seeing some players, you know, make that 
that rotation player sacrifice that we've talked yeah. about before in the past. You know, mm -hmm. that is just part of the game. But so far, no team has really not. We're not seeing a lot of these squads. You know, head dead center. A lot of them are kind of holding that edge position too. Yeah, there, there's a lot of space still open in the dead center. We see Bope here with Seren right there. So it looks like Sonic, he's going to fall back, drive back up to the top of the hill, not want to, you know, risk an engagement in, you know, 4v1 if he's caught down there. And they have the high ground, right? There's yeah. no way to claim that compound down there. It's further away from the circle. And more knocks happening through in the elimination free right there. And B-Town 2.0, they picked up a point. So even though they lost a player, at least they managed to pick up a point right now and keep three players still up and running. There you go. Good for them. So they're going to be able to kind of negate a little bit of that early action. Oh, Sonic got that car 98. Mm. 8x, something I love to see. Are we going to see some heads get popped here? Oh, it does look like we have one player. g was really overextended out in the open. And he is going to try to lean up to this build. There we got wild card. Man, every time I say that name. Gives me a little flashbacks here. But we got wild card, fresh, up close and personal, trying to throw some utility, trying to get that second knock. Yeah, it looks like oh, wild card open it up. Uh oh, Ooh, an angle, a third party. That's not even wild card taking shots, so they got to be aware. Lay those, lay down those smokes before you go for the That's revive. True. That's a key mistake right there. And now the second they realize, right, they get those smokes down. Luckily for them, they didn't get punished too much by having another player locked. But even though this fight's going on, Jukes, the next circle oh, has no. come out. And then from the side, Kowalski goes down to Wildcard Legend. Here comes Wildcard. G1 does a beautiful be able to hold him down, and he may get the double here. That UMP coming Ooh. up huge, but he gets his head taken off from the side. Private. Now he's going to go ahead and get in that buggy, and he's going to be most likely full sending it on in here any second now. Yeah, it looks like, oh, actually, oh. they're, they're going to rotate off. They're going to give up on this fight. And I think, you know, Wildcard has all the advantages. They're down two players already. The circle shifted. And this is when we see some teams just, like, instead of going all in, they just make with what they could do. Well, like, two players going into circle number four. It's I not looking good. No, I agree with yeah. you. It's not looking good. You almost sometimes just want to commit to that play because you could get your revives and pick up the points. But this is the PMCO after all. True. Some teams just know they don't have that skill level just yet, and they're gonna just do the safer play and fingers crossed, right? Yeah, and for a lot of these players, this is their first time ever competing at this stage, you know? So that's a whole other monster. Black Panthers, though, team we already saw put in some great work here at the start. Now they are starting to crest just past Potato Ooh. Hill, and they are going to Ooh. get uh, some nice shots on here, man. And look at this instantly in the vehicle. Holy. He's full sended. This team is playing so beautifully. They are not scared at all to take t fights at the edge. And we've seen the top teams in PMPL take these edge fights. But it does look like they have a chance to oh. get their party. They're winning the fight right now. Black Panthers, they only have one knock. The formation push was so good. Two covering, two pushing off in the buggy to make that disruption. This is textbook. I will say it right now. This is textbook PMPL level play Since that we are seeing from Black Panthers in the PMCO in the very first game, too. Wow. No hesitation. Literally none. We saw the second he got that knock instantly in the buggy and sending it. But they're having to hold off against quite a few squats. Here comes Puppeteer from the corner. And they are looking for some of that action. Can the Black Panthers hold on? They're nice, some nice shots coming out from the top. They got to be watching out, though, for that utility because at any moment, a nade could come in here to this wizard tower. They're going to be mm -hmm. in big trouble. But it looks like they're giving some time to give each other a little bit of a reset here. Yeah, the Puppeteers do have one player in the back hanging out with some uh, support oh! fire. And there's that nade you were talking about. Back in. <laughs> Diego, 92k. He goes down. Noobs coming in, 92k with the support. He takes down two, but they're getting third party from the fight that they started earlier from Ultimate Game. Black Panthers is fighting multi... Actually, Black Panthers is fighting two teams at the same time, and they're still recovering. Look at this. Wow. I think they're able to pick up all four players back up. Black Panthers... Oh, no. One player did get taken out, so they're a three-man. But look at the elimination points. Eight. Already. Oh my goodness. And not to mention, Ultimate Gaming, that's the only player. It's just Sparky up left mm -hmm. for them. So he, even though he got that knock, the rest of his team isn't there to help him support him and get that push. And that just allowed Black Panthers to just wipe the floor clean. And still, eight eliminations with three players up. I mean, this team means business. Oh, definitely. Oh, and the zone, too. Yeah. I mean, what more <laughs> could you ask for? The, these hardships are... What can you expect, Hot Jukes? Right. When, you, when money is on the line, when big money is on the line, it 
seems like the circle kind of can smell that money and it's like, all right, you guys got to work for this. You guys got to work for every rotation. That's a hardship to the north. What will Black Panthers do? We'll see. But Sparky, last one up. His team only has one point. He's cooking that pre-nade. Oh, what, what a nade! Up. Wow. Black Panthers! Nine eliminations right there from downtown. Sheesh. Bang! Hitting the big one. You can just see they have one remaining member in the back trying to kind of hold it down for them as the rest of the team rotates on in. You can see OP dip. Mm -hmm. a, couple, a couple players are going to be heading on out of here. Oh, beautiful Molotov wow. right on the money. Great use of utility here yeah. in, the, in the Snapdragon Pro Series. Utility is on point. If I had a check mark list of you know skills you need to get into the higher stages black panthers everything's getting checked off one by one right, right now that nade from earlier beautiful bope with a nice opening and they will take the central spot this is a huge move out of bope i mean we're already in the late stage of the game time flew by so fast because the action's actually in so, so well paced and speaking about action we got more black panthers once again up against your team pick uh -oh. let's see who comes out on top oss what can they do can they hold on against the Absolute ravaging Black Panthers. Do best. They have 11 eliminations now. I mean, these guys are just fragging out their dang minds. Oh, man. Now it's a 1v2. He can win this 1v2. I think Nubes already has four or five, four, four. eliminations. He's going to drop some pre smokes right here. He is barely inside the zone, but he's going to have to contest those two other players because I think he's got to push in to that building right across using some nice. pre smokes utilization to cross over into another area. Great utility use right here. Nubes looking calm and composed, not panicking right now. Wow, beautiful, like you mentioned, use of that smoke. He is going to pop in the buggy. This is super risky here. He's going to full send it on down. I wouldn't like to see him, I think, just kind of hold off for a minute and make something happen. But yeah, this is just plain, yeah, take me out this buggy. Oh, he actually made it semi-close to a spot. Did he make it safe? No. no. Yeah. Walkart is going to take him out there. I would have liked to see him just kind of hold on and patient. But hey, you know what? When you're on a roll, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, I mean, they've been moving at 990 miles per hour the entire game. Just nonstop fights, nonstop movement. So that adrenaline was pumping. But we're heading into the next circle. It looks like teams already have every position pretty much set up. Wildcard in a great spot overlooking everything, taking pot shots at everyone. Four elimination points for them. Your team pick right now down to two and getting shot at, and the circle goes up to wild card. Let's see if they could close out this game because that is a great position to be in. Oh, they this is they need to use this opportunity to their absolute maximum. They should be going and just trying to get every elimination that they can. It's not very often you get an opportunity like this, and you got to really, mm -hmm. really take advantage of it. We see both still an OP dip on the south side of the zone, and they are holding true for now. But man, they're gonna have to hit some nice pop shots here because all eyes are gonna be on them. Yeah, and just for fun. My team pick, they're looking uh -huh. good too. Four members up, four elimination points, and they got that circle shifted up their way. Not too much hard cover to work with though, so they gotta use those vehicles and those smokes right now to stay alive. But the chaos is breaking out as this circle is closing on in, and everybody's gotta start making a move if they're not already in the zone. Yeah, here comes Bope. I mean, still only two eliminations to their name, but they got a great position. Can they add up to it? Here comes Wildcard as well. They've got four to their name. There goes Sarah and eliminated. Eight teams remaining here in this one. Match number one. Who is going to run away with it? I mean, at this point, it's pretty much anyone's game. Mm -hmm. I love what Wildcard's doing here. They're using like a 1-1-2 one, one, split. Two on the high ground covering as they move into the circle because it is shifting off that high ground. So many teams playing this so tired. beautifully well. Five elimination points and four still up. We only we have three teams with four up. We have just for fun, wild card, and Bope. Those are the three teams I'm looking at. The other three down to scraps. Oh yes, indeed. Just for fun are in a great position. They're doing a great job here, moving inch by inch. There goes skills. There's gonna be five teams remaining here, and yeah, just for fun, they are set up. They're really hoping this next zone goes onto them though. Yeah, I mean, it's my team pick. I'm rooting for them just for fun. You guys got this. Great use of the smokes. Every time the camera's been on them, Hot Jukes, they've had smokes up. Now, that either means they've carried an obscene amount of smokes or they've been using and timing their smokes very well. And I think mm. it's the latter because, you know, you don't really find, you know, 40 smokes to throw around every single match. So they're making great use of that wild card. Nice positioning right here, doing a nice little split using their cars for cover. And now we're heading into the late game. Four or five teams still remaining.
Five teams still remaining indeed. Dauntless Skipper in the blue zone here. Out of meds. He's going to look to try and possibly get in. Oh, I think he's going to just lay down here and go oh. out to the blue zone. Two eliminations to the name. So there goes Dauntless. And oh, now just for fun, getting beat up real bad. Little TJ in the back line here. This busted up Tesla. Trying to get some heels off, buy himself some more time, but they, they still have. Oh, now he's just getting beat up from every angle. Yeah, they ran out of the smokes. Yep. Ran yep. Out. They they survived this whole entire time through the use of smokes, but now that it's gone, they are getting picked apart slowly. Look at Wildcard oh, set up on the next on zone. The top left. Yeah, and they got that top left. This this is, game. Oh, oh Sonic! Sonic! Do it, Sonic! Oh, come on. Give them a break, everybody. Bop. Ooh, that one hurt. I felt that one. Bop! Ooh. And that's, and that's they're out of there. The game right there. There <laughs> goes just for fun. Eliminated. Top three here. Bolt still alive. I mean, that OP dip position was great. They're going to go ahead and full send it onto the solo player here, Bug. And he's going to come out, try to make a play, and is going to get eliminated. So EXP done and dusted. It's just Bolt versus Wildcard. And Wildcard has the zone. Literally, they have to throw this game. It is all theirs to win. Yeah, and not just that, they have the man advantage. That push onto that shed, one of their players got knocked just as the zone was closing in, so they can't stop for that revive. Wildcard, they oh, got the advantage. That, crate. that, that crate's just like... Oh, that's these, bait. These players are foaming at the mouth for it. They want it so bad, but like you said, yeah. that is a bait crate if I've ever seen it. Maybe we may see a possible you know, vehicle drive up onto it. But yeah, that, that legend's got that nade locked and loaded and he had it there just in case mm -hmm. a player went for it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, timing oh. it, thinking about it. Hold on, check this out. Bope in the background. He ran back, picked up his teammate with the carry feature and he picked them up into nice. zone. And they're gonna get that revive, which means hot jukes, we're gonna see a 4v4 Woo! showdown for the very first match. And now both teams are in the zone. Wildcard, they have more control, but depending on where the circle goes, it could end up in a straight up 4v4, 50-50 fight, no team with a zone advantage. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Wildcard, they don't have really any cover other than vehicles and trees. So as soon as Bope crests this hill, yeah. they're gonna know exactly. I love this usage of smoke. I'm pretty sure this is from the side of Bope. Yeah. Yeah, so they're doing a beautiful usage here, so that'll give them a little bit more breathing room, cut off the vision from wild card, so that way they are able to push up in the open. Yeah, they're looking at that buggy dead on. They have mm -hmm. to know there's a player right behind it. Yeah, and if they don't, just take some pot oh. shots. If yep. one bullet, oh, he sees the backpack. He sees Fresh's backpack sticking out over the top, and he's calling out to all his teammates from the different angles lined up. Everyone, you see it right now. Yep. Spray that buggy. There's a player backed out. Hit whatever shots you can, maybe get an opening, oh, that and the smoke. smoke comes down. Yeah, and that smoke's a dead giveaway that there is, in fact, a player there as well. So if they were able to get that knock, that would have really given them a huge advantage here. But, you know, that last second smoke bought them some time. Those shots coming out, too, are giving away wild card's position. They really got to watch out for Bope here. Yeah, I wonder what utility Bope has, because we haven't seen them try and line up any nades, but the distance is kind of far. Maybe not nade range just yet. And both one of them Sonic? gets taken down through a vehicle explosion. That was unnecessary. But the next circle comes out and another knock. Wild card. That's two knocks for them. They oh, smell sad. blood. They're going to go for it. The smoke's already down. They're pushing hot jukes. Oh, and another beautiful nade. Bope is on in big trouble here. Here comes Wild Card looking to wrap this one up. It is. Forjas, can he get it done? Mm. No, he can't. Two v one. It's Wild Card mm. taking the first chicken dinner here in the Snapdragon Pro Series. Well played by Wild Card. It looked like such a dead even fight, but let's take a look at this replay. It was the grenade opening right there, and we saw a vehicle explosion. That was a slip up by Bope right there. But second place finish for Bope. First place for Wild Card. Mm. A four v four finish. Hot Jukes with nice early games all throughout and engagements. This was game number one, Hot Jukes. This was crazy. Hey, it's we, just going to get better and better. Not to mention we saw some bait plays earlier from Black Panthers. I mean, this was just beautifully executed from these squads. And Wildcard, I think they did a great job of that position there towards the end. Got a little shaky. Mm -hmm. Got a little shaky. But, I mean, hey, what more could you ask for? What do you think, Glitter? I need you to read something for me, okay? Okay, tell me. These are my notes for the games, right? All what right. does that say right here? Okay, hard lots shift, of hardships. lots of hardships. Yeah, I can't read. Sorry. Zone five. Zone five favors, favors wild, wild card. card. Yes. They look good and could win. 
she just wrote that by now, by the way. I did not write yep. that right yes, she now. Did. I was taking notes <laughs> on the game, and that is exactly, I was watching, I was listening to you guys, obviously. Yes. You were imparting your expert knowledge, mm -hmm. and I was taking that knowledge in and analyzing it and preemptively said that they could win because when that one, it was the one that went up to the northwest, the yes. really hard shift to the northwest. Yes. Yep. Yes. Wildcar was in that top, like, northwest corner of it. Mm -hmm. And then they started doing a really good job moving with it as it went. And so that was my guess. And it somehow yeah. worked. Okay? But game one in the books. Phenomenal showing from a lot of our teams here. Okay? But we're going to be sending it to a quick break. And when we come back, highlights and analysis don't go anywhere. series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. I'm on the miss a snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me I got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning now I'm always learning tell me where to go man I'm on a journey I can't explain it I get excited keep a 300 King Leonidas strap in cause it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Got to get it here. I don't want to wait, take what I want, then I go train, gotta get a win, I won't lose the game, this is my year, I ain't gonna break, strap in cause it's gonna be a long ride, working on me every single day and night, there comes a time when your worlds will collide, if it's holding you back, push it right to the side, on another level, I will never settle, mind over metal, get the gold medal, on another level, I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal, Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for them. Ha, look. I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, cuz I'm on the Welcome back to the Snapdragon Pro Series Game 1 in the books. And believe it or not, this is actually Wild's Cart, Wild Card's first chicken dinner of the entire tournament Woo. and talk about stepping up to the plate when it matters 
the most. A huge, huge win for Wild Card there. And you can see the standings after that first match of 26 points for Wild Card, guys. That's huge. Huge indeed. I mean, that was 11 eliminations, 15 placement points. Massive game. I was saying it, right? During yeah. the game. They have to take advantage of that position exactly. that they got. I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, Glitter knew it too. If you guys aren't new to the show, Glitter <laughs> is named Glitter Domus for a reason. That's true. I believe her. <laughs> I, she predicted that, you know, when that circle shifted. Yeah. Like, she gets those predictions in. But moving on to the second page here. Jukes, I see one team in 15th place. That is your team uh, pick. I believe ooh. my team's doing a little bit better right now. Jukes, OSS with only one point. How do you feel about that? I think, uh, I think, I think Boyo was taking a break. I think that's what it was, you know? <laughs> Boyo was just taking a little break, just kind of holding on, you know, because, you know, we did see Glitter, you know, shining that crystal ball in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think yeah, that, you know, yeah. OSS was like, hey, you know, let's just wait a little while, a little wait a little while before anything happens. Okay, listen, everybody knows PUBG, can, PUBG Mobile can be a little bit crazy. True. Right? So first time, first game out of the gate can always be a little bit rough. Sometimes even ends up with teams that end up falling off really hard after. And we talk about this all the time across the board. Consistency is always the name of the game. So now we're going to be looking to see if these teams can repeat these performances, if the ones at the bottom can step up and really adjust after a, a struggling in that first matchup. So there's still tons of time for these teams, and a whole second day, really. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they could be feeling it out here today. And we've seen that happen before, Zoo. It, it's just that first game makes me feel like this is already the last day, like the second last game, because teams are playing so well. Speaking about, you know, teams playing so well, this first oh my engagement gosh. out of Black Panthers, they recovered that so beautifully well. And we even asked that in the beginning, Jukes, what do you think this team's going to do? Are they going to come in and help? And that's exactly what they did. Four clean in the eliminations, did not lose a single player. Black Panthers, beautifully done. Oh man, Dior's. I mean, he came to play today, Glitter. I mean, what do you think about that play? I loved that we saw this because this was a team that we weren't even necessarily keeping our eyes on. And we had wondered, will we see some aggression right out of the gate out of some of our teams? Black Panthers, they were that squad. Mm, yep. And they got rewarded with so many eliminations because of it. Yep. I mean, it was so beautifully done. They played that edge to perfection, and I think that's only going to pay off from there because what, what's going to happen when Black Panthers get that final circle? Yeah. You know? I mean, I think they're just going to just walk away with it like it's nobody's business. Yeah, if a team can play without getting circle, a team can definitely play with getting the circle, right, Glitter? Absolutely, and that's what makes them so scary. They utilized the lack of knowledge that everybody has right now, right? Because they haven't been dropping against each other this entire tournament yet. And look at how they Ooh. were rewarded. I mean, look at these numbers in general. This is some solid performances, especially obviously out of our chicken dinner winners in wild card. So many teams started off really, really strong. Yes, indeed. I mean, even Bope. Bope was holding that OP dip position. They got 10 eliminations there. So I don't think that's something that they could shake their head at. I mean, if, I, if I'm starting this off and I'm getting second or first place, I mean, I'm jumping for joy, you know? So still, I think we talked about it, right? It is the first game, mm -hmm. first day. Yeah. So they do have a little bit of breathing room, but these teams, I think that the start, they really, really just crushed it. So, and this is only the first page of this, right? So right now, right. Oh, oh this my, is what I wanted to see. Yes, there we That's go. That's what we wanted. There we go. That's coming Sheesh. from a team that didn't even make it into the final circles. Exactly. And they had the most damage. I mean, they were slugging it out from beginning to 2,254. Nice. Look, I don't care if you get the chicken dinner or not. This team, they're ready to play. They got nine more games to just slay it out. And they w if this is their play style, if this is how they want to do the entire tournament of the PMCO, then they will be rewarded for that aggression because we all know that those Elims bring in some serious points yep. to your overall score. Huge consistency. I mean, no matter what, even if you don't get those finals, I mean, what's going to happen in Sandhawk where it's all yes. about eliminations, you know? So, I mean, Black Panthers, great start for them. And, I mean, I, they have to be just absolutely ecstatic. Even, and you know what? Maybe even a little upset because they're like, hey, you know what? Right. We want to finish towards the end here coming up soon. Mm -hmm. I actually... You, you know what Black Panthers huh. did in the very first game? When that player was hiding in that room, I mentioned it. Notice how he pre-boosted. He popped That's those right. energy drinks, got them ready. He sat there in that corner <laughs> and was like, yo, team, I need some support. <laughs> yep. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> We got four eliminations coming our way. Help me out here, boys. And they did it yep. cleanly. 
I love the point that you made about Sandhawk, too, because there are obviously other maps in the pool that we will be getting to that do favor a more aggressive play style. And we had mentioned it at the top of the show. This is the map you cannot fail on. This is the map you need to look the best on, the most confident on, be the most successful on. And even though, like you're saying, Zoo, that Black Panthers mm -hmm. did not get the chicken dinner, they show that they are more than capable of doing that with the confidence mm -hmm. and the teamwork that is in exactly what you need yes. for all of the maps and will work even better moving forward, okay? Now, we're going into our next match soon. Not yet, but soon. It's mm -hmm. going to be Miramar. Yes. Okay? Does that potentially change your teams to watch it all? Now that we got to see that first game as well, kind of get it out of the way. I, I mean, I kind of want to say Black Panthers, but then you guys are going to rag on me for picking the easy pick, you know? But I mean, at the same time, <laughs> I mean, they dig so good. I mean, it was so beautifully done, that aggression in Miramar mm -hmm. with those kind of rotations. I mean, I think... I mean, I have my eyes on them. What about you? Hey, I, I gave a toast to them. Right. Taking a sip of that okay. monster right there. Like back Black Panthers, for sure. But just for fun, they did really good in game True. number one they or did. two. Right? So I feel like as the games play out, we're going to see a lot of jumping up and down. Like wild card, they got the first chicken dinner in the entire series of the tournament in game yep. number one. So any team could literally take this away. One game down, nine more to go. I said it at the beginning of the show. This is going to be very exciting to watch, and it's already way more exciting than I expected from just one game alone. And for context, Jukes had picked OSS at the beginning of this. Yes. Zute had picked Just for Fun at the beginning of this, and OSS did struggle. I did not tell them to do that. I did not tell them to do that, but OSS <laughs> did struggle a little bit Look. here in the beginning. Look. It is what it is, okay? <laughs> it is what it is, you know? It is, their name is OSS, but you know what? That last, those S's are gonna turn into P here in the next few games. Okay. You, you, you know what, OSS? They should rearrange those letters right now and be Not to S, S no! S. Wow! Because they are... I, oh, okay. no! That was Sorry. good! Maybe a little too early. We're that only one good. game in. We're only one game in. But if they keep dropping the ball, they might want to rearrange those letters and just, you know, SOS. Okay, all right, just for fun. Five eliminations, mm -hmm. 1,400 damage. A lot of damage. Uh, okay, yeah, a lot of damage, but mm -hmm. still only five eliminations. Zoo, okay. what do you want that? That is, if I could do my math correct, that is four more than your pick. <laughs> That's what I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love that we're able to have these rivalries in person now, okay? And we're just going to continue this throughout the rest of the show. But like I said, that next Miramar match is right around the corner, so don't go anywhere. You're watching the Snapdragon Pro Series. Brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for him. Ha, look, I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, because I'm on a mission. I'm getting what stands in my way. Yeah, I'm a beast. I wouldn't play with me, baby. The way that I'm training is crazy, and I do it daily. You want to talk about drive? I got more drive than Mercedes. I've never been lazy. I'm in the room. It's a weather alert. You want to compete? Well, get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. Ha. Yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. Ha. Yeah, I gotta be first. Look. I don't want anyone's sympathy. I understand what it's meant for me. I give my focus and energy. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. 
But mentally I'm undefeated They hear that and say I'm conceited Like there's no reason Like I don't beat them and beat them And come back again just to teach them That when you work under pressure You reach higher measures They'll try and bring you down But you cannot let them And only get better and focus on cheddar Eye on the prize and you'll become a legend Like uh, when I'm in the room it's a red alert You wanna compete well get better first I got ten toes in the dirt Push through the hurt just to show them my worth I'm the best <laughs> Yeah I'm the best I never stress, I know what's next, I'm who they test, like we playing chess, but I'm unimpressed, so now let me flex, <laughs> yeah I'ma work, through the struggle and hurt, cause I know my worth, and I gotta be first, <laughs> yeah I gotta be first, they don't know what's gotten into me, how'd I turn pain into energy? Do all the struggle and hurt, remember my worth, and that's why I gotta be first. <laughs>
That'd be a cool thing. Oh, so Buns does have that over under shotgun, but skills of mine. Trixie Boy, he's got that that UAZ and that UMP. You definitely want that to start things off. Mm -hmm. There's three teams here, by the way, Hot Tricks. Look at that top right. That's three different shades of colors. We have a uh, 4v4v3. Now, Skills of Mind, they did get that first elimination with the shotgun, too. Nonetheless, speaking about shotguns, shout out to PUBG Mobile. Great recent buff to all the shotguns. Oh, Makes it yeah. so much more, you know, enjoyable to use. And it's just shotgun action. I'm all for it. You know what? You may be thinking PUBG Mobile, but a lot of other teams in here, maybe they're thinking, oh, you know, I, <laughs> oh, not I do shotguns. not want to walk into a shotgun right now. I mean, these building plays, CQC, that shotgun has mm -hmm. really just... It has changed the meta. You, that's the gun to have mm -hmm. in those close quarter fights here. But, you know, so far, so good. It does look like B-Town. Ooh, Payne. He's got a great angle here. He should be able to get this knock. You can see Trex trying to play this very, very carefully. 2v1 here. I'm surprised they're not just kind of sending out. Oh, not Molotov. Yep. Yep. Makes it, makes it, make the move here. But B-Town are playing this very slowly for 2v1. Yeah, uh, extremely so. Maybe a little bit shaken up after what happened in game one because they lost play early. But oh, here comes challenge the one push, one. and oh. there we go. Nice jiggles right there. Drake on the top, you know, making risky. sure to cover that. A little bit risky, but I feel like Drake had the angle the second, you know, that player was forced to swing over. Now B-Town picks up a point, but the fight's not done yet as B-Town taking multiple fights on different fronts. And now two elimination points, and they keep all four up. There you go. B-Town turning things around here in, in the second match. So they're going to start off with two eliminations and their full squad all nice and toasty. So they are rocking that 2-2 split, but it does end up working out for them for now. They do have to keep an eye on, though, because there are so many teams. Skills of Mind is very, very close by. If they catch those two players by themselves, they could be in big trouble. But so far, so good. Looks like they're just trying to look for loot here and get on to the next place. Yeah, and we have another fight going on south of Hacienda. You know, Hot Jukes, I wouldn't have thought Hot Drops on Miramar, right? Because the, the map's so big. There's so much different places to loot, but... These teams are very aggressive. They're not scared to fight, which I really like seeing. Here's that fight that I was talking about south of Hacienda. And it looks like Saren getting into a fight with Bope, but Bope is getting the better end of that. Maybe, I think we just caught the tail end as Bope goes for that reset. Yeah, Bope with two elimination points. They did lose Sonic, though, down over to the side of the Saren team. Yeah, you can see here, they do have one player going up top, just trying to see and catch possibly a drive up or something like that by them some time, but it doesn't look like anyone is going to come and help out the little baby nooblet. Yep. So he's just he's, a nooblet. He's just a little baby nooblet, dude. Infinity is going to infinity and beyond, bro. He is out of here. <laughs> <laughs> infinity and beyond. I see what you did there. Yeah, that, I mean, he's running for it. One player up left for that team, and it is the start of the match. We're, we're not even six minutes in, Hodgix, and this is Miramar. So good luck to Infinity. He's going to need to go Infinity and beyond if he wants yeah. to pick up some placement points. He's gonna need 16 to eat. teams still left. So you're going to need to go somewhere because this is going to be a tough one for him. Now they do mm -hmm. get that elimination. They do see that green smoke. So they're going to go pick up his loot and get a move on to it. Black Panthers this is the team that they know we were keeping an eye on. Mm -hmm. They did really well in match number one. So far, so good. They are nice and looted here to start things off. Got that. Was that an SKS on his back? Okay. Ready for that long range. Got that UMP for the close range. So, you know, this squad is looking pretty set up here. Yeah. I'm interested to see their first fight, see how that works out. One thing I noticed, three of them got the 92K at the end of their names, right? Mm. Could that be 92 elimination points that they're aiming for? They, they already hit 10 plus in game one, and we got 10 games. 92? I think it's the two that really makes a big difference there, too. Mm. Big time. <laughs> the, the two, the two extra. Just the number, just the number two. Adding in that to it, because I used to know a player that had, you know, a nine K at the end of it, and that guy sucked, you know. But the two here makes a big difference. So that ninety-two K. Mm. I mean, we're seeing these teams frag out. Mm, yeah, the two makes all the difference because the nine K was not enough. But Dior's. You know, I like how Dior's doesn't have that 92k at the end because oh. he's a, he's a leader, That's right? And we saw in game one, yep. he was the one that called over his boys, and his boys helped him out. So Dior's, you know, no 92k, but that's because he's maybe the team captain. You know, like we'll see how the team does as Ultimate Gaming making their rotation. Circle one was already on the screen.
We haven't talked too much about it because I think this Circle 1 and Miramar is pretty standard. Pretty super standard. I, yeah. mean, I think a lot of these squads are super hyped about it because mm -hmm. those southern Miramar circles, for those yeah. that don't know, it, the terrain is so difficult to drive and navigate through. So many hills and bumps. So, yeah, I think a lot of these teams prefer the map to be right where it is here. So they're going to know this spot very, very well. They should know this terrain like the back of their hand. And we're seeing some nice, thick rotations happening. Look at the unlimited gaming. Ultimate Gaming, they are full sending it out here. And we still we have some players. Whoa, yeah, all the way down near Los Eagles and Minas and all the way up at Campo Militar as well. So, I mean, they are way out in the blue zone here. Yeah, we're watching Safe. Strangers BD trying to make that rotation from Campo Militar deep in the blue zone right now. And they lost the player. I think they were making that rotation and they got caught on rotation even way deep in the blue. So you got to be prepared for everything. Everything indeed. I mean, they are making it very risky. I mean, driving for any amount of time on Mirror Mars risky, period. I mean, you, all these players and squads, they are just like foaming at the mouth to just hear the slightest vehicle and they're ready to just turn mm -hmm. on it and blow people out of it. So the bus trying to make the tough drive as they're trying to look for flat ground here. Okay, looks like he's gonna try and bust out that tire to give himself a little bit of maybe some terrain advantage here through those bumps. That's an interesting play, but they're still rotating deep from in the blue. It's like a compounding negative effect. This is not, you know, a good okay. compound. It's not compounding interest. You know, we like compounding interest, but as they take longer and longer to rotate in, the circles are going to shift further and further away, and that blue zone is going to hurt more and more and more. The second shift comes out. We're heading further to the west. Still a very familiar area of the map for these teams to play with, but it's not an easy area of the map. We have two giant mountaintops in play right now, and it's just cut right down the middle, left to right. Is it going to be in the north mountain or, you know, the southern mountains? Which one's going to come into play later on? That's for these teams to figure out. Yeah, they're going to find out here in just a few moments, everybody. Still very early on to the game. This is that looting phase, that pre preparation phase, trying to find a good spot towards the end zone. Anything could really happen here. So a lot of the top teams, so far, so good. No action yet for them, except for Bope. You know, Bope did get three eliminations pretty early on. Mm -hmm. So especially after their last performance, they got to be feeling pretty good here. Yeah, Bope did well. B-Town didn't do too great, but two elimination points for them. So maybe a nice little, you know, mental boost to start off this game. We see Black Panther, so taking that mountaintop I was talking about. This is on the northern side, 92K scouting around. They're using all that high ground. Want to see if they do a split, because Miramar is typically, you know, the map for splits because it's so big and you got yep. so much high ground you're a little more comfortable just playing one player at the tippy top of a mountaintop and you can probably more or less hold it down so i want to see if black panther is a team you know and that checklist that i was talking about one thing that makes a great team being able to play split so i want to yeah. check that one off for them too we'll see how they set up as we head into the next circle but it'll take a few minutes yeah that's a, that's a must a must have like tool in their toolbox because you know, back in the day, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, playing super grouped up together side by side and just full sending, you know, teams that were just split or players that were split was the strategy. Now that's Ooh. completely changed. Look at this. Wow. All the way down. Yep. And he's going to go down. So that's one of the Black Panthers trying to make that, you know, thick that, rotation, mm -hmm. you know, to get those sight lines. And it's already taken. You know, you, you really can't do blind rotations here at yeah. any level of competitive. Yeah, I think they were going for like a 2-2 two -two split maybe. They wanted both giant mountaintops. I saw a moment earlier. They scoped in on top, didn't see any players, and thought like, hey, they can, might be clear. Maybe we could, you know, do a 2-2 two -two split. So they attempted the split. I'll check that one off for them a little bit, you know, like, a tentative check because it's like they attempted it but they didn't do it correctly per se because that player yeah. did get taken out but it's, it's good to see that they're not just you know off of a great game one deciding to play passive and be like okay we had a good start let's play like safe you know i do not want to see that out of this team i want to see this team keep trying to take advantage of every potential opportunity make the plays baby make the plays that's what all these teams are trying to do here they're trying to not just get to top three but also you know Put on a show, get mm -hmm. some highlight reels going and really get their career in competitive PUBG Mobile, 
started here. And this is the place to do it. This is the place where everybody is looking to make those dreams of theirs come true. And yeah, this tournament, first place is, you know, that $5,500 prize. That's some good money there. In the next stages, though, that prize pool is only going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. Hey, and if these teams can make it all the way to the final tippity top of the competition, I believe first place for PMGC was what? One mil? Over. 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 Yeah, over one million dollars. One mil. So it just gets bigger and bigger, like you said. But speaking about getting bigger, the circle, Hot Jukes, is getting smaller uh -oh. and smaller. And this one, we're heading into where? El Pozo. Oh, let's go. Let's get it going here. We're starting to see those full sends coming on in here, trying to find. And I am looking, really hoping for that urban finish. I want to yes. see a dead center El Pozo finish. I want to see them shotguns come out heavy. We're going to see a lot of teams, a lot of players get eliminated here on this rotation alone. I'm surprised we're not seeing more teams hug that zone and try to go to that hard shift side, though. Yeah, make that wrapping rotation. We'll yeah. see. And how many teams is going to just default into playing in the city this early on? Because if the circle shifts away from it, it's hard to get out of the city, but it's easy to get in. We have another team fight coming in, though. Burn in silence and a taking some shots over yonder. Nothing connecting just yet as they haven't gotten an opening, but it looks like they're definitely in the advantage position up on the high ground. Yeah, we see Rushy rushing on over away from this fight try to find a way into the next zone. You know, just trying to get some more intel, more information. Information is key when it comes to competitive PUBG Mobile. Knowing where to go next after this fight is successful or unsuccessful. You can see Puppeteer, Yi, holding it down, using that TPP peak, trying to get some more intel on some of these squads. It looks like the Black wow. Panthers are eliminated first this time. Not the hot juke's curse. Oh, gee. Yep. Yeah, it, it's, it's that zoo taker is coming in. I hype them up too much, and typically that's what happens when I hype that's up what a it is. team too much. Skills of mine also getting taken out. This hard shift is definitely putting a lot of teams in a tough spot. And puppeteers, they're in an even tougher spot as Burn in Silence. Oh, getting an OSS. Oh, he just hopped out of buggy wow. and shot that player in the back. Like, hello, I'm here to join in on the fight. And Rushy, too, is busting out some shots from the side. So he just got completely third partied. OSS, I wonder where the rest of their squad is to come and possibly help their teammate out here. But I don't see them in anywhere nearby for that assist. But look at this burn in silence, putting on a lot of pressure here. Mm. Beautiful pinch coming on right now. Yeah, then that is the puppeteer team el eliminated. Burn in silence, just holding it down, applying that pressure, making them feel like they need to make a play, the puppeteer team. And they got choked out, so they had to make a play, got taken out. Next zone. Well done. Next zone, yeah. Is it that El Pozo zone we're wanting to see? Give it to me. And oh, oh I feel like even better. All the way to the north. Yeah. yeah. Now all these big, big name squads, they're gonna have a little bit more breathing room, a little bit more time to be able to make that rotation. But the squads in the south, like Wild Card, our last chicken dinner winners, they are on the complete opposite direction. They're gonna have to full send it on in here. Yeah, they're not getting that zone block this time around. And, and if anything, that zone block is the complete opposite. Shifting oh. hard up north as EXP taking some nice shots right there. Bug, J-O-D, getting a nice knock opening. Almost gets knocked himself. Uh -oh. He's got to, you know, jimmy back right behind cover quickly. Yes, indeed. He's going to go ahead and make them shimmies happen. Starting to see some nice reses come out from the rest of the squads here. And we're seeing some teams hop in those vehicles, trying to full send it on in here because we're at circle number four here. Circle number four, the blue zone does hurt pretty bad. Zone number five. It is way too much. You have to be almost getting close to just spamming first aids to make any movement there. Mm -hmm. EXP coming in on the northeast right here, taking that northeastern nice high spot. ground. And now the, the, we, we haven't talked on it, but El Pozo's still in the zone on the south side. It's like a 50-50. We have that road coming in the middle, dividing the high ground from the north and the city on the south. This is almost kind of like a mini military base situation. Like, do you want to take the high ground? Yeah. Or do you want to just, you know, stay safe kind of and play in the city? You see here on the mini map overlay, a lot of teams still trying to make their way in. EXP getting pushed upon potentially by Wildcard coming in from the eastern side. Well, I'll tell you what, being center isn't a bad place to be right now because no matter where that zone's going to go, 
You're gonna have some breathing room to move here. Does look like we see a player from Wildcard. Oh, two of them, actually. Looks like we did see that M24 coming yep. to play. Beautiful snipes coming out here. And strangers are in some big trouble. Here come out the smokes, but man, EXP is starting to put the clamps on here to Wildcard. Yeah, EXP playing this very well, pushing away two teams. And well, Vampy going for that 1v1, the left, right shimmies. It's not going well oh, as no. quick peaks by Fresh. Well done. Back onto center. Oh, Fresh. Bad beat. Ooh, man. Fresh looking fresh out here with those quick peaks. Fresh to death, looking great. I mean, what a play there. Nice pre-fire as well. I mean, Fresh, he, especially after whenever you get any one of those kind of eliminations like that, that just fires you up. You know, you're like, oh, I'm ready. Come peek me. Come peek me, yeah. you know? So he is starting to really feel himself there and trying to make something happen here for his squad, especially after that beautiful game number one they had. Yeah, he, I think he's the last player up for wild card, so he's got to carry if he wants a little couple more points. But that nade getting very uh -oh. close to Fresh does not connect. Now, EXP, they did lose Vampy. He went for that ego challenge. He felt like he had it, but Freshy just outclassed them. Center backing up to the rest of his team after he managed to hold out the another team. I believe that is STES down there in the pink on the top right of the mini-map. Yeah. Now, we're heading into the next zone shift. Where is it going to go, Hot Juice? Oh, I hope it's to the south. I hope it goes to the south. I hope we see that urban finish. But, you know, I think it has a big chance of just centering up right here. So we'll see where it does go. I do want to see EXP get a little bit more aggressive, though. I mean, they know that it's only one player in that position. I would have liked to see them just kind of full send it, get them out of there, and just secure that whole side of the map. I don't know, man. Here goes, next zone. Fresh looked really fresh on his defense. Ah, so that maybe you know, is going to scare them off. And ooh, stole that 50-50. Some of El Pozo still in the zone. A lot of the road right now, just in the dead center of the yep. map. Now, this area of the map, not very often played. But I do know there's some nice dips right in the middle that potentially teams can make use of. But we'll see if any teams do elect to go down that route. Are they going to go down? Or are they going to go up the hill? And we're starting to see some wide rotations come out. EXP getting beat up big time. Dope. He's got to really, really careful. Yeah, that thing is almost smoking. And we got strangers all the way in the back having a full send it on in. Only a few seconds left. They have to get moving now. Seven seconds on the clock, and this zone hurts. Ooh. EXP forced to rotate right into the team of Burn and Silence and A right there. High ground advantage. They already took down a team, so they know the angles. And look at that. Burn in silence, already pre-scoped over here. Here comes EXP. Can he get the opening right here? Oh. Fires off some shots. Doesn't connect, but oh, peeks out a little too much. The support angle gets taken down, though. Center goes down now. It's a 4v2 situation. Not looking good for the EXP team. Not at all. Diamond's bad. Giving away his position there. Not able to capitalize on it. Burn in silence trying to pick up some rotations here. Doesn't look like they do catch one, though. It's going to be just for fun. That's the squad that you called here at the start of here today. Mm -hmm. So they are here towards the end. Burn and Silence, four eliminations to their name. And they have all four up, so they're in a great spot. They are trying to push up, though, and secure a spot in this next zone. Yeah, you see right here, Burn and Silence just kind of moving up closer and closer to XP. A little by little pressure and bug goes down. That's the opening. That's huge. Now it's a 4v2 situation. Burn in silence. They are holding down this area like they own it. But one of them wow. gets traded as dope with the UMP. 2v3. Can EXP do it? Man, they got those UMPs ready to go here in that close quarters combat. Oh, and there is going to be a crate. Does he go for it? No, he's going to have to challenge it. Then we get side. Peaced, really unfortunate for him, and now it's just one player left. It's dope. Dope. Got that UMP. Can he make a miracle play right here? He's going to try and hide in the corner, get a bit more info, but the blue zone's closing in. He's got to keep moving. J-Star eliminated out of the map. I don't think he could pull this one off. A 1v4, not likely. He does get one, oh. but then he gets shot yeah. from the other angle. Too many angles to cover for just one player. Yeah, too tough of a, a rotation there, but he did make it his best effort. But it looks like we are going to see the rest come on as this blue zone does close on Burn and Silence. Rushy, a great position here. A lot of oversight, but the next zone shifts pretty much almost off of everybody in the mm -hmm. wide open. This is going to be a tough one. Dang, oh. that need hurt. Drake, one more? That was an eviction notice. Drake, <laughs> four, three. Man, <gasps> we're in. Bam! Oh! 
Oh, again? And he oh. doesn't move. All he's right, got he's a like, third, All right, one. third time's the charm. I'm gonna throw this one early. Joe ain't even gonna cook it, bro. Come on. Oh, it misses. Come on. Take your time. More. Hey, Drake, take your time. Breathe. Fourth one. Oh my goodness. He's rattled. He's, he, he, he shook. He, he shook. He's like, that, those first two. How? 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 And now his hands are trembling. He can't aim the next two. We have just for fun here. On the northwest side, they do have the zone hard shift in their favor. Now they're fighting against Dauntless. Dauntless, not in the zone yet. Using those smokes to try and shimmy their way in into the very edge of the zone. Oh, shimmy, they're trying, but just for fun, got some great sight lines here. And again, very good use of utility. Nice mm -hmm. smoke coverage, denying some of those sight lines, buying some time as they try to get in this next zone. This is zone six. This is not a zone that you want to be in at all. So they are going to have to full send it. Here come the buggies up the hill. Looks like they are looking at a good couple of rocks, a shack, oh. and they do end up securing that shack for now. But oh my gosh, shots from all angles. Dauntless in the back, uh, just for fun, have to hold on. Yeah, it looks like they want to use, make use of that shack, and they're putting like three of their players in there. That's not a good look, especially the circle shifts off them. Cause look, now they're trapped in that shack, and Burn in Silence is just looking right at them. That could be a nade range, Hot Jukes, if Rushy has a grenade and he can line it up super perfectly. You might see an insane nade come in, but for now, he's going to take some shots over at Dauntless. Of course, Burn in Silence, seven elimination points oh, already, wow. and they have the high ground to just make use of and take shots at almost everybody. Yeah, but they've been having to do this the hard way, big time. So they've mm -hmm. been making the plays. So when it comes to these final circles, they're going to be in a great spot here because they've already put in that work to get there. Now, final zone starting to come up here. Zone six is closing. Drake trying to make some plays out the open. Nice little switch to FPP, make those sight lines in the smoke using his teammate kind of as bait for a mm -hmm. second. And they are just trying to work oh, together. Oh, now. Uh oh yeah. Wide on the oh. open at the worst time. Nice Hold play on. from Johnny. Yeah. Can he hit this pre-fire? Hold Ooh. on. Left, right, pre-fire, misses. Can he hit it? The shimmies, the left, shimmies. right. He's the getting closer though. Yep, he's oh. got that UMP. 10 bullets left, he's gotta make these count. And oh! oh, so close. One bullet more to the, and it would have been all over, but he does go down, mm. so. Just for fun, your squad, they did get that position really early on, so they're oh. in a great spot, but they got to make something happen here. We are down to four teams, by the way, Hot Jukes. We're down to four already Woo! in the blink of an eye, just for fun. They're getting into these late games, at least, and they are racking up those placement points. But Burn and Silence hold up 10 eliminations. Wow, 10? They got four players still up. They do have to move down a little bit. The zone did shift to the lower ground, but they can make their way oh, in yeah. from that high ground quite easily, I'd have to say. They have all the cover of the world. So, I mean, they are just owning this match here. And there goes BRZ Esports. Three teams remaining. Dauntless have been hanging on to this one just for fun. Very, very quiet here. They mm -hmm. did get this position, but they haven't been doing a whole lot with it. Meanwhile, Bird and Silence has been just taking out everybody. Yeah, just that high ground position really paying off for them. 12 eliminations. We're going to see a 15 plus chicken maybe just for fun. That's their biggest challenge. Uh -oh. And just for fun is put in a terrible position, like I said earlier, due to, you know, that shack. They want to stay in that shack, and Tracy actually gets knocked from inside the shack. Rushy with a beautiful angle and some beautiful shots. Yeah, and it doesn't even look like he's being challenged hardly at all. Oh, oh. that would hurt. The second he decided to peek, he got punished for it. Oh. Rushy as well. I mean, with this angle, just for fun, it looks like they can't even do anything against Rushy. And oh, it's down to the last two teams. Uh oh. It's just for fun against Burn and Silence, but one of the Burn and Silence players does get knocked. However, I 15. think it is done for. It is done for, and that is it. 15 wow. plus eliminations, because they were at 15 right before the game ended. That's right. We're going to have to tally it up. Eight plus four, three. I'm just going to say, that's probably more than 15. That, that's probably more indeed, Zute. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be, so far, an elimination record uh, in the Snapdragon. Pro Series by PMCO. I mean, what more could you ask for? They, we didn't really talk about them when it comes up to that last fight, mm -hmm. but they had that position, they did the work, and they got it done. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to. I don't. I don't oh, want to show you on. my notes again. <laughs>
<laughs> but okay, all I will say okay. is that I put million stars around Burn and Silence because in my opinion, they had an incredibly methodical push against EXP. They didn't rush it. Yeah. They had good teamwork. They split up well and used their angles well. So they were my big star note for my note. <laughs> she actually wrote down methodical. I see it. I see it. The word I is there. Wow. I don't know. Maybe today's just a good day. May or maybe I have more power with pen and paper ah. than I realize. What if I am writing it into existence? And okay. I feel like okay. some, mm -hmm. Write down a team name that you think will win the next game. Let's put it to the oh, test. Yes. Right now. That right now. I agree. I agree. Okay. 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 Let me think about it. I'll do it over the break. Ah, I'll pick one over the break. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll show it during the analysis Kay. segment. Sounds good. Okay. Get the crystal ball. And yeah. we'll see how it goes. All right. And uh, <laughs> speaking of that analysis segment. It's time for us to go get ready for it. So when we come back, highlights, analysis, don't go anywhere. Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. I'm on the miss a snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me I got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning now I'm always learning tell me where to go man I'm on a journey I can't explain it I get excited keep a 300 King Leonidas strap in cause it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Get it here, I don't wanna wait Take what I want, then I go train Gotta get a win, I won't lose the game This is my year, I ain't gonna break Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride Working on me every single day and night There comes a time when your worlds will collide If it's holding you back, push it right to the side on another level, I will never settle Mind over metal, get the gold medal On another level, I will never settle Mind over matter, get the gold medal Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for them. Ha, look, I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting, you hear what I'm spitting, it's hot. Look what I got, whole lot of passion and pain, the road to success is insane. Welcome back. 
back to the Snapdragon Pro Series. Miramar in the books and Burn in Silence is on fire. So on fire, it's literally even in red on your screen. Okay, that's the type of performance that we saw out of this team. And as we go back to the standings to see what has been shaken up as a result of that performance, we'll see. You guys were talking about mm -hmm. it. They are literally in first place because of how, how good they were there, Zoo. What a crazy game out of Burn and Silence. They maintained that high ground so well, and they capitalized on it. They were pushed by multiple teams, but their defense held out, and that rewarded them to get that chicken dinner in the end. And we talked about the possibility of this happening. It's already happening, okay? Do you see second, third, fourth place? All 29 mm. points. The ties are beginning. The close scores are beginning. And this is no surprise as we continue to see more of those on the second page, Jukes. So beautifully done indeed. I mean, OSS <coughs> Esports, though, mm. still at the bottom. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I am waiting for them to wake up. I mean, on two games, I'll give them the, you know, hot Jukes excuse card. You know, I've, I've written them there. <laughs> They're, they're done. Yeah, they're all punched out. They got to get it done here in the next few matches. You know, the real question is, mm. do we think that they are just trying to lull all of the other teams into a false sense of security? Mm. And then they just kind of come blazing in for the second half of this day? I would say yes, but we haven't really seen anything from them yet. So mm -hmm. we haven't seen that, you know, big pop off moment, little, even something small. I want to see that thing first, and then I'll be like, all right, here they go. We're ready for them, but. S I'm still waiting. O S. S O S. Yeah, you hate to see. You hate to see it. According to Zoo. Well, let's 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 take a look back at some of those highlight moments from this last match because even if we don't get to talk about O S S, there are certainly other squads that we get to really highlight here. Oh yeah, you can just see here. I mean, Burn and Silence. They did a great job throughout the whole entire Ooh. map. Oh wow, oh. we missed that. <laughs> look at that. Oh. oh, it was a jump out the, of the, the buggy. buggy. That was disgust. Okay. That was the moment, right? Okay. That was the moment from OSS, right? But where is the finish? You know, where's the follow-up from the rest of the squad? Yeah, I mean, if OSS could do that, I want to see maybe they should just fly over people more often and just jump out of buggies because he nailed those shots. Yeah, he did. But who nailed even better shots? That's definitely a burn in silence in that late game. They picked up so much wow. elimination and that damage number. Woo! 3,000! 17! That's a record. We're That's literally only two games in. We struggled, We're only two games in. We struggle yeah. to see those numbers in PMPL. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are two games in and already have an over 3K damage game coming out of Burn and Silence. I mean, that is the most pleasantly unexpected stat that we could possibly see here. And to be fair, we've got some other respectable numbers from teams that yeah. actually I do want to point out because mm -hmm. B-Town was yeah. someone that struggled in the first match. They started to pick it up here looking a lot better, mm -hmm. as did some of these other teams. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and looking down the rest of the list here, you know, I see six eliminations from Dope Esports. They had a great game one, you know, mm -hmm. with that chicken dinner, putting up six elims as well. I mean, that's going to help, you know, offset them and just keep, keep a nice little level of consistency. Yeah, but what's not consistent is Black Panthers. That's right true. Now, right? At the very tail end, 291 damage, and that was it. We didn't even see what happened to them on camera. Maybe Miramar, you know, it's just not their map. Mm. And you did say when you guys were getting into the game that there was a possibility of it happening. Miramar gets a little scary for some of these squads, mm -hmm. and it ended up being too scary for Black Panthers. But as we get to take a look here, this Ooh. is actually the MVP, MVP yeah. from the this MVP. last match, okay? This is Ronnie alone with wow. over 1K damage. And eight eliminations to himself. I mean, what a crazy play. I mean, literally, that's that squad level yep. type of stats. So, I mean, exactly. What more could you ask for? I, I was mean, gonna say, I was gonna say, I got a little bit confused at first. It was <laughs> like, didn't they have 3K? Why is it only 1K yeah, now? Because right. yep. those stats are what you see from a squad. Straight up, straight up. And then Eight I was limbs? like, oh, that's one player. Mm -hmm. That's one player stats. Just one. Crazy. Stepping Just one. up to the plate. And that's something that we love to see because. We talk about it a lot, just in all of the shows that we do for PUBG Mobile. If there is one player on a team that everybody can rally behind, it ends up being a mm -hmm. huge boost in the overall performance of that team. Now, will Ronnie continue to be that player for Burn and Science? We'll have to see. But having one third worth of 3,000 damage, yeah, I mean, that's a good start. Woo! 
and the rest of the squad here, 17 eliminations. So the rest of the squad did, what was that? Yeah, nine? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he had almost half of the entire stats here for his squad just by himself. So, I mean, hey, we were waiting for those superstar players. That's superstar performance right there. Yeah, and another team that I did want to talk about and give you a little bit of props here, Tuzu. I do want to highlight just for fun. Okay. Obviously, yeah. they didn't get the chicken dinner, but we have seen them having some consistency, consistency. which is the most important part True. of this game. Mm -hmm. Top three, especially, right? If you yeah. want to get to top three, you need to be consistent. You got to pop off whenever you get those zones. And when you don't, you want to still put some points on the board, you know, just for fun. Yeah. You know, uh, dope as well. You know, we're starting to see that from at least a couple teams here. You know, it might just be because, like I said, you know, they're just playing a game just for fun, relaxed, not making any crazy moves, not going out too early, just staying consistent, you know, just doing their thing, and, you know, just Vibing. playing just for fun, vibing. Vibing, vibing their way, potential, hopefully, to the top three. I mean, you did say it before. They're, we're all here so that they can play a video game to win <laughs> some money. Mm -hmm. It does not get any more fun than that. It really doesn't. Come on. It really doesn't. I mean, it's crazy to see. I mean, heck, I mean, we started playing this video game. Look where we're at now, you know, and this <laughs> is where the same thing that for these players are, you know, and especially a mobile video game where the – Mm -hmm. Ability to end the entry, the path to entry is so low. I mean, literally, mm -hmm. so many people have a phone out there, and to be able to put some big money in your pocket, I mean, what more could you mm -hmm. ask for? Which feels like to me, Jukes is trying to recruit more people. Next time we do this, so if you guys want to become a professional <laughs> PUBG Mobile player, sign up, hang out with us, play some games. But we've got another match right around the corner. It's going to be another Arangel one. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for him. Ha, look, I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, because I'm on a mission. I'm getting what stands in my way. Yeah, I'm a beast. I wouldn't play with me, baby. The way that I'm training is crazy, and I do it daily. You want to talk about drive? I got more drive than Mercedes. I've never been lazy. I'm in the room. It's a red alert. You want to compete? Well, get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. Ha. Yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. Ha. Yeah, I gotta be first. Look. I don't want anyone's sympathy. I understand what it's meant for me. I give my focus and energy. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. But mentally, I'm undefeated. They hear that and say I'm conceited. Like there's no reason. Like I don't beat them and beat them and come back again just to teach them. That when you work under pressure, you reach higher measures. They'll try and bring you down, but you cannot let them. And only get better and focus on cheddar. Eye on the prize and you'll become a legend. Like uh, when I'm in the room, it's a red alert. You want to compete, well, get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be first. They don't know what's gotten into me. How'd I turn pain into energy? Through all the struggle and hurt, remember my worth, and that's why I gotta be first. <laughs>
got to get a dime on the miss a snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me i got a dream can't take it from me my fire is burning now i'm always learning tell me where to go man i'm on a journey i can't explain it i get excited keep a 300 king leonidas strap in cuz it's gonna be a long ride a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back push it right to the side ain't got no time for no Welcome back, everyone. Our teams are flying high here at the Snapdragon <laughs> Pro Series, which is couldn't be any more appropriate here with this clip, obviously. Great game so far, though. A little bit of fun, little bit of really, really good gameplay coming out of a variety of teams so far, and we'll have to see if it can continue throughout the rest of the day. Like I said earlier, next up on the docket, Erangel is right around the corner. Our teams are getting locked and loaded, and I showed Zute. You can mm -hmm. see it here, Jukes. Yep. He asked me to write a team down for this matchup. Oh, yes! I okay. put just for fun. Okay, just for fun. Okay. Hopping on the can Zute. On right the Zute there, bandwagon. The stars, just for fun. And then, obviously, the next step in the show, which mm. is going to be me talking to you guys. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the Twitch predictions. predicts, okay? Yeah. So now you have my prediction for this game. I want to know what you guys think. Who is coming out on top? Game number three of the day, of the day is going to be Aaron Gell. So if the map informs your decision at all, let us know. And that game that I'm talking about is ready to go. So mm. Jukes, Zute, take it away. Let's get it. Match number three, we're heading on back into Aragel, the good old tried and true. So we're going to see, you know, quite a few Aragel matches here in this tournament in hole. Mm -hmm. but, and I don't think that's something that these players mind by any means. Nice southern plane path here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep a close eye on Glitter's prediction. She wrote it down just for fun. And, you know, and, and that's the prediction of who's going to be the winner here. Not second yeah. place, the winner. Yeah, like, I had to ask her. Yeah. She, I was like, I was like, hold Smell on. It. I was just like, wait, Glitter, you're. I got jealous. I wish okay. I I had prediction skills like that. I'll be honest. They're pretty I, strong. I got a little bit jealous because I always, you know, root for teams. You know, oh, this team's gonna do great, and sure. it, the opposite always <laughs> happens to me. But Glitter always gets it right. So I was like, Glitter, how about this? How about you? Just out of the blue, pick a team right now before the next game starts, and let's see what happens. So like, I mean, even if Just for Fun doesn't get a chicken, if they place high i feel like that is a huge one for them because they've been very very consistent they have they have but they haven't gotten that chicken dinner yet you know and that's what they're aiming for above all as we take a look here again day number one they've had a couple matches to go against each other one Aaron Gale match in the past but it was quite of a different playing path but it doesn't look like i'm seeing too many close drops, except over by that Yasnaya area. We're seeing a few teams kind of get a little too close for comfort. So it's possible we'll see a hot drop, maybe some action here at the start. But Puppeteer all the way down in military. We do have another squad over there by, by you know, their apartment compounds over there. So they got nothing to worry about. So everyone's just looting up, getting ready for the rest of the match here, Zoo. Yeah, so we have three teams on military That's base. True. They're not landing on top of each other, but leaving military base, that could, you know, be a potential setup for a bridge camp. You know, we've seen it in PMPL when teams are aware other teams are on military base, so they loop fast and then they leave to set up that bridge camp. We'll see if it happens here. That's just for fun. Glitter's prediction right here, looting the Yasnaya Pollyanna area. That is a lot of loot that they will get. But the first circle down towards the southwest, they can't stay here forever. But, you know, they'll definitely be ready for the rest of the game. The, the amount of loot here, Hodricks, it's enough loot for two teams. Yeah, more than two teams, potentially. True. Yeah, yeah, military is the place to be if you want that thick loot. And it's been proven, tried and true through every update. Military's always got the goods. So teams are fighting for that down there. So far, they haven't really got eyes on each other just yet. We're looking all the way at the north side. Wild card. Now, they did get the chicken dinner on the first Erangel match, right? Looking to possibly have a little bit of a repeat here. 
If you're wild card right now, it looks like they are full sending it all the way up to Severny. What do you think about that play? I feel like in previous a different wild card team uh, also uh, looted Severny. Say what? Yeah, I think it went spring. Spring. I think I don't think he plays PUBG Mobile anymore. But mm. when he did, he was leading the wild card team, and they also elected Severny. So maybe parallels to be drawn right there. But okay. we'll, we'll see how this wild card team does. As uh, we have Dauntless here, they held out until the very end that last game. But I mean, they, they just could not deal with burn and silence on that Miramar match towards the late game. Let's see how well they do on this one. But Aaron Gill once again. No hot drops. Miramar, however, you know, yeah. the bigger map we saw had some hot drops, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting indeed here. So we're looking like some teams are starting to make some adjustments here, you know, mm -hmm. to their new found enemies. Seren, all the way here at the bottom of Saznovka, opting to take these barrels. These barrels are deadly, to be honest. Not a lot of players are checking them. So much cover. If you're even near this area, you could easily just get popped and thirsted. So surrounding teams uh -oh. have to be very careful. Pop, Tia, what do you see? I see Burn in Silence. That's right. Kind of getting caught in between two players. Once again, we have three teams on Military Island, and they're moving around, and some shots coming out right there. It's a car chase. Burn in Silence, a great start to game runner. one. Oh. But, or a great ending to game two. Game two, but not a good start to game number three. Burn in Silence down to three players. Puppeteer picking it up a nice elimination point right there. Yeah, beautiful finish there, especially taking out Burn in Silence, who had a lot of momentum coming in from that last match. So kind of puts a nice little, you know, mm -hmm. little slow down to their, to their reign of terror. Going to help out all the rest of the teams here in this lobby. It looks like we do see Bope Sonic getting a nice little knock uh -oh. there. Oh. Yeah, he is getting contested, though, from the rest of the squad. Here come the smokes out to try to get that res rush. Man, he was down at 1 HP. He gets yeah, they're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. He's wide in the open. Yeah, he's got to get back in that car and dip out uh -oh. of there. Some left, right. He's trying to do the shimmies with the vehicle. And is that enough? He's one shot away oh from getting gosh. knocked out. Car is smoking. And he Ooh. will make it out by the skin of his teeth right there. Rush. Rushing away, and that one player, well, they're down to three. Rush will manage to stay alive. A lot of early game scraps, I would have to say. Not exactly fighting, just getting kind of caught out. You know, I think it's still, you know, we're three games in. This sh team should be warmed up enough where these mistakes should not happen. But once again, this is PMCO. This is not the PMPO. So yep. Maybe this is just the level of play. Teams are still learning as they try and improve over time. Yeah, I mean, some of these teams, I guarantee you, there's some squads of just friends, you know, that got together and said, hey, you know what? Let's give a crack at this. And mm -hmm. it is a different level of competition here, Co completely different than classic PUBG Mobile play. You have to really be on your P's and Q's. You can't do any blind rotations, any mistakes here. But, you know, there's other teams that are in that same boat. So here you have a little bit more room for learning. But hopefully each game that these players and these, you know, these teams make, they just get better and they just get more refined and refined here as we go on. Black Panthers here setting up on top of that hill. They're doing like a 3-1 split kind of because we got Dior's here way down away from the rest of the team kind of just uh you know doing his own thing in 92k also or black 92k also doing his own thing so talk about the splits they are split up in zone one they have two in, in the central hilltop location and two other players just kind of further separated out getting more info and you know if one of them gets caught if a team pulls up that call's coming in once again, and they're ready to support that teammate. 100%. Getting that intel is what it needs to be here. You know, this is a battle for information, just an understanding, all right, hey, let's get this dock, let's take out this squad, where are we going to go next afterwards? And we're seeing Wildcard, you know, sending it finally away from Severny. They got all their loot, and they're going to start heading into this next zone, and um, they are completely outside of the circle. So I'm interested to see, keep an eye on their rotations here because anytime you see a team come so far away from zone and still have success that's sign of a pretty pretty dang good squad because it's not very easy to do yeah either they're really good at the rotations or they're really good at fighting the way in <laughs> like yeah. black panthers when they're coming in away from zone and game one at least game two is a little bit of a different story they just fought their way in yep and they picked up the points just for fun 
coming in after looting the Yasnaya area, coming in from the northeast. This is Circle 1, so teams, you know, they're allowed to rotate a little bit slower because map's still so big, you don't know where that hardship's going to go. No real reason to rush to the center of zone by any means. Yeah, take your time. Take your time right now. Just get that intel. Get your players, you know, in position, you know, both you know, physically in game, but also mm -hmm. mentally. Yeah. You know, this is a great opportunity to kind of talk your yes. squad if you see them kind of going through some nerves because these players have most likely played a lot of games with each other. And you can tell when you have one player that's just making too many movements, you know, mm -hmm. just a little too shaky. You know, you want them calm. You want them ready and loaded. Here's we get into the next. Oh, oh. And okay. Nice shift on over to the Fairy Pierce side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, that bridge, I think, is going to be in big contention here, Zute. Yeah, Burn and Silence already set up there. However, do remember they're down to a three-man team, so not a four-man bridge camp. So we'll see how effectively they can utilize that. Black Panthers coming in on that eastern side, rotating on in. And you see, they held that one-to-one -one split. And the second that circle shifted, they're grouping up on Dior's now, because yeah. Dior's was more centered up on that potential western shift, which did play out. So that's great to see. And this area of the map, Hot Jukes, I feel like we've seen this zone so, oh, yeah. so many times. Like, when it ends in that kind of hayfield area, Oh, the, the chaos. Yes. It is so good. Yes. I mean, this happens to be one of, like, the most common finishing circles in PUBG Mobile. So we're going to definitely see things get intense over here. Looking on over, uh, take a look at, you know, J-Star. They're going to hold right above Gas Station, that hill. Try to get you some more intel. A nice little kind of off-center position. I like that. Actually, almost pretty much dead center where they're at. So they're pretty well set up. Black Panthers, every time I see rotations like this, very, very wide, very blind, it gets me a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're trying to set up some sort of split, but they didn't, they didn't know. Bop is here. Yep. It's on the back side. Oh, he's waiting. Oh, the lay, lay down. down. He's got it. He's going to hit these, the three, got two, him. one, Dior's getting knocked and potentially thirsted. I don't think he has a lot of cover. Yeah, down one HP and there you go. See Sonic you. with the M24 for the finish. Bop, and this is what I'm talking about. You know, when you do these blind rotations, you got to assume that there's a player everywhere. Mm -hmm. They didn't think that there was going to be some teams, some players over here on that shoreline area, and they just got taken advantage of. But I can just tell by those shots, they did not like that at all. Mm -hmm. They want revenge. Not at all. And it's unfortunate almost because we saw them rotating a little bit further in. The Black Panthers team and realized the spot was taken, and they circled back. It was clear when they left that area, but in those few seconds, another team filled in. They weren't checking, and they got punished for it. VRZ taking the top of the hill on the northeastern edge, looking down at the Just For Fun team. Just For Fun playing in a very safe off-center compound. So this Just For Fun team, definitely a more safe team. We haven't seen them do anything too crazy. They've just been playing it safe, playing it consistent, and I think that's how they're racking up the points. So we'll see where the circle goes next as we are halfway through the zone closing here. Bope doing a split along the ridge. Oh, this point. is risky. Yeah. This, I mean, risk paid off. Yeah, it, did. it paid off with one elimination, but, I mean, the problem is, is what happens when the zone shifts off you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, then you're going to have a hard time moving yeah. it. I mean, there is the option of jumping into that water and trying and swim, but, oh, that is pretty much just saying, hey, we're going to go for placement at that point. But, you know, so Bope, do take that position, split up. Does work. Oh, here oh. comes Ander. Oh. Line <laughs> rotation, but looks like he's going to survive. Oh, my Yeah, God. you know, I'm not going to lie. I am not used to seeing this. You no, know, he even you know, slowed down. Yeah, at the high at the high <laughs> levels, he is out that vehicle, and he's already in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, he pulled up, slowed down, and hey guys. was like, oh, sorry. I'm going to turn around. My bad. Make a little U-turn, pick up some speed. Yeah, at the high levels, just ripped right out of the vehicle. And that's the zone we were talking about. That giant hayfield area in the center of the map. J-Star in a great position, though. Black Panthers, they're down to three. I think they're going to utilize a more center position and just huddle in this warehouse. I like that adjustment, especially since they know they're down to three members. They can't just take fights willy-nilly now. Yeah, I agree. Leaving that hill, securing that warehouse, going to make it a lot more difficult for teams to kind of press up on into them. And they are going to be going for that higher end placements. They want those big points here. Look at this, Rushy. Taking his time. He's going to throw that nade. The trap is set up here on Ooh, this beautiful. bridge. And beautifully done indeed. 
Now the trap has been sprung. Is Rushy and the rest of the squad from Burn and Silence gonna be able to make it happen? Here comes Nublet with that DP. Look at some shots. Oh, oh, oh that, that's an easy knock. Oh, he hits some misses few, it. A few bullets right there. Free fire? He needed oh, no. that too, because they're down to two players and they are just getting camped out by Burn and Silence. This team down to a three man team, but the bridge cam set up how they position their players. Notice how Rushy let the first player drive on by, didn't pop any shots. And that's when you spring the trap. You get one player too far committed, yep. and then you get the one for two special deal. And that's exactly what they're doing to the Seren team. Yeah, give them that false confidence, and then you just cut their legs out from under them. Get that you know free point here. Here goes Rushy, getting into that FPP position, going underneath the bridge. I always love this new terrain here. Mm -hmm. Gives so many opportunities to make some crazy plays. And here goes Rushy, trying to be extra silent here on this rotation. Oh, it does look like we are going to see a pickup. Wow, so Killjoy making it all the way across with the beautiful smoke play, and they do pick him back up. So nice little recovery there. I, I feel like, luckily for them, Burn and Silence is a three-man team, because with a four-man, it's easier. Oh, it would have full Yeah, they, it would have been way easier pressing this advantage, but you see Rush is kind of left on his own, because they can't really pull another player back in, because they're holding down, you know, the east side of the road and the west side of the road, so they kind of have to maintain that setup. And Rushy, I do like how he's playing a little bit uh -oh. aggressive, but still being quite safe to not get knocked. And yeah, it looks like Saren's gonna have to take the water route, just jump in that water and start swimming because that zone is about to shift and chances are it is not going on the bridge. Yeah, personally, I wanna see those other two members just jump in the water at this point and yeah. start rotating. I mean, start. there's no point. I mean, Stop waiting. they are not going to get across this bridge. It's mm -hmm. just not gonna happen. I don't know if they're trying to hold and hope Killjoy gets up on there and is able to get an angle by himself. That is just ridiculous to think. And yeah, finally. But at the end of the day, I mean, those little hesitation, you know, thoughts, yeah. it's wasted seconds, precious time that they need. And Rushy, oh, he's ready to go fishing. And next circle comes up. And Burn and Silence, they actually get the beautiful, zone. Beautiful. Very close. Squad. It centers straight up into the middle. We won't be getting that hayfield zone we're talking about. But instead, in the middle of the zone is that giant kind of sloping, not mountain, but sloping hills up and down. So there's a lot of, you know, not hard cover to play in but a lot of terrain cover. So let's see how these teams make use of that. As right here, you see on that mini map screen, J-Star in a great position, if they can maintain the defense. Yeah, J-Star, they locked out of this position really early on. And this is what I was talking about. I've said it multiple times. Whenever you get zone position like this, you have to take advantage of it. Now, J-Star are at a little bit of a disadvantage with one member down. But still, now's the time to shine. Get some elimination points. Make, it, make trouble for these other players. Yeah, look at Complex. Up on top of a complex, right? He's <laughs> on the roof, and he is trying to cause some trouble. I mean, he is very, he's a little bit away from the rest of his squad. He's got to be careful here. This is a very, very big split, I think, from J-Star. What do you think? It's a confident split. I feel like it's a good split if they have the skills to pull it off, right? Because they are definitely capitalizing on getting to this position early. Look at the different angles they have. So we many. Have, yeah, it's one player on the roof, another at the rock, two on the hillside. Like, they could shoot, like, 360 around, space teams out to force them to fight each other yeah. and knock them. And they could just take pot shots, pick up, you know, stolen kills, all of that nice stuff as Burn and Silence still holding that area. We see... Black Panthers in that kill feed getting some nice grenade knocks. It looks like they're going to be holding down their area quite well, too. Yeah, we got to make sure, though, that you just don't get split up and you get full percent on. And that's exactly what happened. But look at this. Karma receiving a nice big dose of Karma himself. Beautiful nade there from Complex. He's looking to throw another. Can he get a second knock? He's looking for it. Nah, he's going to catch it right there. But where's the rest of his squad? Are they going to start pushing this? Or are they going to take their time? It looks like they ought to just kind of play it safe here. Oh, nice little blow up of that gas can. Oh, and then here comes oh, the more. Oh, there is the sin. Here comes the pressure. Yeah, they're putting down two more players from the top of the hill. I mean, they have the advantage. Complex with the top on the roof. Got a lot of sight lines to cover a push. And yeah, J-Star, they're going in. And nice shots through the window angle. That's two players down OSS. from OSS. They better be shooting that SOS right now. New trying to throw that pre-nade. That's a good nade if he can keep JS oh! The pre-fire, that's one. Can he hold the defense? The gun the switch rotation! to left and right. He gets two. He is keeping this team in the fight. New is showing up some new techniques right there. Beautifully done. The shimmies are on. The jukes are hot. 
And here comes New. He is feeling himself now. Does get a tag there through that smoke as well. And he is full pressing it for his squad. Oh, big oh. trouble though. Maybe a little bit too overconfident. And they do get turned out. The drop oh, shot. One for one. Coming up That's big. a 1v1. Complex. Oh, oh no, they got a revive. Here they go. Complex, full sending it away. Does get beat up. They have to finish J-Star here. But oh, Complex is not going to go down. Ooh. He is beautifully done there from OSS. Finally, finally wake it up. Man. J Star zero eliminations. They had the best That's position tough. on the map. They wanted to take advantage of it. They went aggressive. That is going to shake their mental That's right true. there to the core. Because in game one, they also got caught by Black Panther. J Star is not having a that good shift. time. Is not looking too good. And we're shifting on to the bunkers. Wow. That hillside right there. We have Dauntless taking control of that bunker area. This zone ending is going to get. Crazy. Oh, crazy. yes, indeed. There's still a lot of coverage in this next zone. And I, I, I'm going to go back to that last fight here before we get into the action. And never mind. Killjoy on to B Town 2.0. And they are out of here. So now 13 squads still remaining. I mean, these plays, these players, they're getting it done. They're OSS. They just beat them. They just mm -hmm. beat them right there. That's going to help their confidence out. But like you mentioned, it's going to be devastating for the squad that uh -oh. doesn't hold on. Here goes Nate just for fun. It's Glitter. Glitter Thomas and Zute's pick. Nate trying to get the revive here. And oh my gosh, through the smoke, the oh. Black Panther. Wrong squad. That is not the squad you want to take a fight with. But it's not over yet. Nubez in a 1v2 situation. Just him. Oh, He's gonna go for it. oh. Tracy. He hits it. Goodbye. He's got to hit this one. Yep. See ya. That is just for fun. Taking the win in that fight. Uh-oh. Seven, seven eliminated. Oh, seven. Gee, just on brand. We're seven. Where you at? Look at that. Just for fun. Feeling themselves right now. They do only have two two members up, and they are completely outside of the zone. I think, yeah, they're, they're looking at that Tesla. They're thinking about having a full send it, but that mm -hmm. thing is smoking already. I think at this point, just try your best to just hold on, deny other teams elimination points, and try to go for placement. Yeah, I love seeing that out of Dress for Fun, by the way, because we haven't seen them with any explosive, you know, performances so far. They just kind of been quiet and consistent, but it looks like they could fight. More consistency. They took, they took a fight with Black Panthers. Wild card wasted, about to get wasted in the blue yeah, zone. And he is taking, it is taking hard. He's going to try and wrap all the oh, back no, into, oh, no, oh, not the buggy, oh. not like this. Wasted indeed. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all over there. Hey, that's on brand. That's on brand. Wasted. Wasted. <laughs> Wasted. Hey, you hate to see it there. OSS, though, are pretty close to the zone, but this is a tough one here, especially on this side. No coverage. It is all open field. Here's Anders. Oh, he's going to get spotted out. Karma. Oh, the pro, the lay down. Oh, Can he hit the shots? Him. He does. It was actually oh, it was new. Yeah. yeah. Knew that picked up that one. Knew clutching it up for OSS he right is. now. He held that push I did like 4v2 and he won it for them. Let's see if they have a nice spot in the zone. I think they're somewhat in cover on the very, very edge right here. Yeah, they got these crates, but that's about it. Not much to work with. And the zone shifts up, up onto the hillside. Good smoke there. And Karma does have the edge of that. He's going to run there. They need to protect those vehicles. But oh my gosh, they are getting pieced up from every direction. Are they going to full send it from the vehicle? They are super risky. And you can just see the shots coming out from every direction. But that little under hillside mm -hmm. allowed them some time because just for fun up on top of the hill, they're not even looking in their direction. Oh, and they're going to get Crash. right onto the edge right there. Lay down some smokes immediately because that's what's going to happen. The angles oh! and the return trade But Alex. Nice shots. Ooh, Volto taking nice little pot shots. And he's even getting a piece of this. Okay, this is the OSS team there we, go. we were missing. Hey, I wanted to see that with them wake up. I was saying, hey, where have they been? Oh, and now beautiful. they have woken up. This is the OSS oh, I've been waiting oh no. to see. Just as we say that, Karma is the last, oh, not the last one. He got the revive. The smoke's coming down. He wants to get the other two. B-I-S, burn in silence coming in from the southern side. So many teams taking fights here. Dauntless trying oh to maintain goodness. their bunker hilltop position, doing a great job getting down one. But have they taken down Ronnie, the MVP of last match? Ronnie. Not yet. Ronnie, run! Ronnie, run! And it looks like he is going to get away for a couple more seconds, oh. but yeah, right into another squad. 
and he's going to go down just like that. Dauntless, six eliminations, three members up. Kowalski still up, about to get hopefully res. Bird and Silence are eliminated, though, so seven teams remaining here. Mm -hmm. And Dauntless, six eliminations just for fun. One member up, and they do have eight to their name. Yeah, take a look at how many players are up alive. It looks like OSS did get that full reset, by the way, Hot Juice. They do manage to keep all four up. It looked really shaky for a split second there. Yes, indeed. But I think this is the first place team that we saw out of the qualifiers, OSS, and they're playing like it right now. There's a good chance they might get the win here, and that's going to boost them right back up as another team gets taken out. EXP oh firing long-range shots right now. Nothing connecting too hard onto the OSS side. Yeah, every single team is just holding the edge because there's just no coverage at all to be had except for this spot right here. And we're gonna see where that next zone's gonna take them to. Dauntless looking to try and get nice and reset, ready for the ending fight here. OSS still have everybody up, but they are holding that edge and hoping that zone comes their way. Just in front, still hanging on in there. Nine eliminations, one player left. I think it do, I do believe it's little T, oh. There's that. Uh, Okay, that's yep. that caster curse I was talking uh, about. Okay, it's it's, it's, it's yeah, in the, effect. The second I call it's out a effect. player, it just, I hear Glitter off to my side, like laughing at me right now. She's just like, ha, huh, Zute, you suck. You just keep cursing these teams. She's saying that. She's saying that I can hear it in my other ear, but you know what doesn't <laughs> suck? OSS, not this game. Not this they game. They are looking to put in some work. SOS said, uh-uh, it is time to put in that work because they got the zone. All they got to really worry about now is Dauntless. Dauntless here on this side are their biggest threat. Still a full mm -hmm. squad up. It's really going to be a fight between these two teams. Whoever wins this one is most likely going to be that winner. But if they fight at the same time, yeah, you still got a couple squads there on just outside the zone that can make something happen. Looks like they're going for that rotation. They're rotating right into another team on oh, the hillside. What down are below. you doing? They didn't know. They weren't what ready. What were you doing? And oh. What SOS. A throw. Hey, it was a good game. This was a great bounce back game for them. They're not completely out yet. They still got one member, but it's between Dauntless and EXP, the two teams with four members still up. STES, they have to, maybe they could pull something out, but they don't have the zone. So it's probably going to come down to Dauntless and EXP, in my opinion. Yeah, it could be. I'm so surprised to see that just full send there from OSS without any intel. That, that really puts a big hurt onto them. There you go, Dauntless. Woo. Going for the vehicle explosion. Can he get it? They're oh. in trouble. Yup. Boom. And here comes Vampy almost getting run oh. over. But that was a distraction buggy. But hey, right now is the time for Holy, another squad are to you come kidding in third me? party this. That was a 4v4, and they cleaned that out so clinically so fast when they didn't even need to because they had the zone. That wow. was proactiveness at its fine and Dauntless is looking so good. Four players up, STES with two. OSS still hanging in there with their one player. Still alive, still holding on. They are going to get at least a top three finish, so that's at least you know a good solid 10 placement points for them. That's going to be pretty huge especially considering their first two map performance finishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could be dangerous here, Karma, because it doesn't look like either squad is even looking in this direction. So if they fight each other, Karma can make something happen. Oh, Kar yeah, Karma definitely sees revenge, but he's not taking shots because he knows he needs to time this well. And crawling into the open, he's going to go up. for this one. Gets up, starts running, but starts getting shot by SES. God, and does God. get taken down. Dauntless in a 3v1 situation because they did get a knock. Now, they got to play this careful because, oh, oh, hold that thought. Careful, and, careful what? That grenade. S see you later. Great game out of Dauntless. So many eliminations, too, and looking at the replay right here. They played this so well because we saw, I said, it was between Dauntless and EXP, right? Yeah. And they knew that. They knew EXP was the biggest threat, and they took it to them. They Boom. pushed on in and cleaned them out quick and just had full dominance of the rest of the map. Man, it's so beautifully executed right there. Dauntless getting some major plays, and it wasn't an easy one. It wasn't an easy one at all. They did get some decent circle positions, but they pushed up into it and just took out every squad. Honestly, it was OSS. OSS making that random rotation and getting taken out. That just hurt my soul. What was this? Come on. Come on. It was it. hard to watch. Oh, it hurt. It was because they were on such 
a roll yeah. up until that point. Had they not done that blind rotate, I actually think that they would have been able to take this one home. I agree. But they just, they, they didn't have the information they needed. We talk about how important that is yeah. all the time. Yep. So don't make those blind rotates anymore because it could take you from that first place spot all the way down to, I guess, actually third. That's not even that bad. It's not so, that bad. They still finished top but three. it's not first. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a first. big mental bounce that's back. That's true. Though. Like that's I, what, I agree. It's a, yeah. it's a mental bounce back because they were in dead last place. Yeah. Three points in two games. See, and that's what I was saying earlier. Were they lulling everyone into that false sense of security? Oh, first place team coming okay, into it. Okay. Fantastic performance in our third match of the day. But don't go anywhere, guys, because when we come back, analysis highlights of that third match. We'll be right back. Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. I'm on the miss and snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me yeah I got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning now I'm always learning tell me where to go man I'm on a journey yeah I can't explain it I get excited keep a 300 King Leonidas strap in cuz it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Gotta get it here. I don't want to wait. Take what I want. Then I go train. Gotta get a win. I won't lose the game. This is my year. I ain't gonna break. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride. Working on me every single day and night. There comes a time when your worlds will collide. If it's holding you back, push it right to the side. I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal on another level. I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal. Ain't got no time for no fear. I want to hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I want to hard to get here. On another level, I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal. Welcome to the place where dreams come true, where everything you want can be yours, if and only if you're willing to work for them, you're willing to hurt for them, but most of all, you're willing to be first for them. Ha. Look, I'm going straight to the top, I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is in Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game number three in the books. And Dauntless are literally embodying the definition of 
their name. Huge performance out of Dauntless & Co. in that third match of the day. And we'll take a look back here oh, at the standings oh, and look what has happened. Mm. Dauntless up top. First place, 18 eliminations to their name. 49 total points. So, I mean, consistency. They showed it. This was a huge win for them. I mean, just for fun, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second place. All right. I guess so. Uh, yeah, they picked up the elimination points this time around. So, they could show they could fight. And by the way, from second page to first page. Hey. And the bottom. <laughs> OSS. Don't call, don't call it a comeback, baby. Don't call it a comeback. Here they come. I told, I told you it was going to happen. And speaking of that second page, we can see who they knocked down. As, uh, mm. I mean, this has got to hurt for Black Panther specifically. Yes. Yeah. It's this kind what of, happened? This, this hurts me. Black Panthers, I absolutely loved what they did. Game number one and game two, game three is just not playing their way. Look at their placement points. Only two for 13 eliminations. This is definitely wow. an aggressive fighting team, but they got to learn to balance that out. They need those placement points as well. Big time. Glitter, I gotta ask you this, right? Mm -hmm. If you're Black Panther's coach, right? Yeah. I want you to tell them right into their eyes right now. Yeah. What do you think they need to hear going into the rest of the day? Okay. I think that what they need to hear is that we we love the aggression. We like that, okay? They're doing very, very well on the elimination side of thing, and that's going to serve them well heading into Sandhawk, which will eventually be that map. Mm -hmm. But we've seen too many times where teams are not living long enough to get those placement points down, and it will make or break your squad. Do not forget, it is top three making their way through to PMNC. If you need to play a bit more passively in the first five to seven minutes, do that and get yourself into a better position placement point wise, because that's going to be their their biggest struggle. Yeah. Listen, right? Listen, I don't think that you could have said it any better. Yeah. Right? Hundred percent agree with that. Like Black Panthers, they need to dial it back. Usually we tell teams, you know, dial it up. But let's take a look at some of these highlights from that last game. Yeah, Burn in Silence. They got caught early oh, on. <laughs> but they made it. And this is the thing. Yeah. Like, they get they're starting to get caught. I think teams are starting to warm up. Game mm -hmm. one, they could take advantage of it because people are maybe nervous. But yeah. now teams are getting fired up and Black Panthers, they're they're having some troubles now. Yeah, we were pointing it out the whole time, you know, saying that hey, you know what? This was a rotation he got away with, you know? Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't get away with it in later stages. But I think you're right. We're starting to see players and teams start to finally tighten things up. Say, hey, start feeling themselves. And it's got to be OSS here with this beautiful yes. hold and, and, and push on this compound here, Glitter. And we also did talk about that. We talked about the fact that the mark of the really good teams is their oh, ability to bounce see. back. It's listen. I can't see this. this <laughs> we were, we're, we're talking about bouncing back. It'll still apply here because they, they bounced back overall in the grand scheme of things, yes. did really, really well, and then had that unfortunate ending. Can they bounce back from that specifically wow. heading forward? But look at the da Look how even Ooh, the damage is this time yeah. around. Yeah, that graph is a lot thicker than it was, you know, before. It was only one team that really had, you know, was pretty high up on that board. But across the board, I mean, a lot of damage here. I think that just happened to do with that zone finish. A lot yeah. of eliminations, though. 13 from Dauntless. Yeah, 13. 13 big ones. But, yeah, everyone putting in damage on the second page. So, you know, some few teams not getting a good game. They went out early. But even on the second page, 1,000 damage here, 1,000 damage wow. there. J-Star. Yeah. They, they dropped the ball on that Fight. They, I like their confidence, but that was a big mistake. They went from the best position in the game to doing a lot of damage to getting taken out in 16th with zero elimination points. Yeah, th that, that's always rough when that happens. You don't want to be at almost the 1K damage mark and yeah. nothing to see for it. Yeah. You know, that that is so unfortunate. But we get to take a look at our winner stats here. And you know what I love about this in, 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 a, in a weird way? is that it's not astronomical damage because they were super economical. Oh, this is MVP. That's Skipper. Yeah, that's Once one again. player. This is, this, this is not a team stat, Oh, my God. God. It's not a team stat. This is a player the stat. player stat. Six no. eliminations. Skipper. 800 damage <laughs> from Skipper. Oh. Why are they doing this, Sussidy? Okay, the individual players are so, so good. These are the oh, teams. Yeah, that there makes we go. More sense. <laughs> the individual performances are too good. They're too yeah. good. That's insane. Like, yeah. I, gotta, I agree. I mean, you're thinking, like, okay, this is kind of a little low respect from the team but as one player that's absolute insanity 13 that's a baker's dozen there from the total squad of dauntless so that means that skipper was half of that you skip more than half yeah right, 800 damage of the 17 like that yeah, yeah. that's damage wise yeah okay yeah okay skipper <laughs>
I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here. And that's going to be huge, like I was saying, going into Sandhawk. We've been talking a lot about a lot of these teams that have really, really good damage numbers or who are really putting in some heavy lifting either individually or as a team. We all know how much we love Sandhawk, and that's going to be a huge factor. Oh, man, dude. I'm just ready to see hot Papa drops. Blue, dude, come in oh, no. hot no. Oh. here on Sandhawk. No. I'm looking I'm at be, it. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy real quick, though, because the Nova team, yes. the PMPL, mm -hmm. heel strap. Oh, my second gosh. Thing. For days. Mm -hmm. For days. Can a PMCO team pull that off? Now, it's harder than it looks. I keep saying that every time people complain about Nova heel striding. It's harder than it looks. It is. Yeah, it is. I don't think a PMCO team could do what Nova did. I feel like there'll be a lot of teams that will try in heel strap, but nothing as successful as Nova. But the hot drops are the main things I want to look at. Yeah, well, don't, don't, don't even bring up Nova, dude. We got number one fan right over here. You know what? <laughs> I feel like uh, the challenge has been issued by Zute. Oh. So we're going to have to see if any of those teams can meet that challenge. Will the heel strap be the play? Coming up, our next match, Sandhawk, right around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for him. Ha, look, I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, because I'm on a mission. I'm getting what stands in my way. Yeah, I'm a beast. I wouldn't play with me, baby. The way that I'm training is crazy, and I do it daily. You want to talk about drive? I got more drive than Mercedes. I've never been late. I'm in the room. It's a wet alert. You want to compete? Well, get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we're playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. Ha. Yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. Ha. Yeah, I gotta be first. Look. I don't want anyone's sympathy. I understand what it's meant for me. I give my focus and energy. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. But mentally, I'm undefeated. They hear that and say I'm conceited. Like there's no reason. Like I don't beat them and beat them and come back again just to teach them. That when you work under pressure, you reach higher measures. They'll try and bring you down, but you cannot let them. And only get better and focus on cheddar. Eye on the prize and you'll become a legend. Like uh, when I'm in the room, it's a red alert. You want to compete, well, get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be first. They don't know what's gotten into me. How'd I turn pain into energy? Through all the struggle and hurt, remember my work, and that's why I gotta be first. <laughs> On the miss a snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me i got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning now i'm always learning tell me where to go man i'm on a journey y'all can't explain it i get excited keep a 300 king leonidas strap in because it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear.
Welcome back, everybody. PMCO Spring Split 2022 action has been incredible so far. Match number four is right around the corner. And of course, it's going to be our favorite of the day because it's finally time for some Sandhawk. And you know how much we love a Sandhawk game? Woo. I love it. I like it. I tell you what, I have been waiting for this one since the beginning, yes. since days ago, to be honest, yeah. as soon as I flew in here. So the first Sandhawk of the day, Papa Blue, is coming in hot. Oh, definitely coming in hot. These teams are coming in hot, too, because, I mean, we've seen so many teams mm -hmm. that are really good at engagements, and this is the map for that. Everybody is going to need to fight their way in into these zones. Not only that, but Sandhawk typically can be one of those maps where it shakes everything up. Mm -hmm. It can completely get one of those teams down there at the bottom, shoot them up to, like we saw with OSS, from second page to first page, makes a massive difference in the standings. So we'll have to see which team is going to come out on top. But speaking of which team is going to come out on top, we have to ask you guys as well which team you think that's going to be. So, of course, it is time for yet another prediction poll down there in the bottom of chat. Twitch, let us know which team you think it's going to be this time around. I was close last time. Okay. Yep. But no cigar. It was, it was mm. close enough. Because they I'll still got it. 15 points, yeah. and what we're focusing on is actually their consistency. They're yeah, one of they're our most really consistent good. teams, second place second overall, place, yeah. so you can't really complain about it. But now I'm going to flip the coin okay. All right. into you guys. Okay. I'm going to flip the other side of the coin. I don't even know what the phrase is. I'm going to ask you, though, light predictions for how you think Sandhawk might go. OSS. Oh. I'm going with OSS because you know what? That okay. confidence after that play that they had inside that building was good, and I think they're mad how that one finished. So I think they okay. want to come out hot here in Sandhawk. All right. My prediction, it's a 50-50. On, on to Black Panthers. Okay. They're either going to destroy this map because the way they played in game one, that aggression, that's exactly what they need here, mm -hmm. or because they've been dropping the last two games, they're just going to fall flat on their face. Okay, I like it. Well, we'll have to see exactly what happens because Sandhawk game is ready to go. go. The players are dropping in. Let's see how this one goes. Let's get into it. First Sandhawk here of the Snapdragon Pro Series by PMCO. I am so hyped for this. The players have dropped. They are ready, locked, and loaded to go. I hope you guys in the chat already had your predictions put in because this is going to be a good one. Hot drops, hot drops. Please give me a hot drop. I'm looking at boot camp. There's a couple of colors around there. It does look like Black Panther. Looks like Black Panthers is actually going for boot camp. So the confidence, I like it. And we get a very southern Sandhawk yes. circle. Yes. One we don't usually see a southern Sandhawk circle like this. In a while. So, so this is gonna throw teams in for a little bit of a loop. And the hot drop, yes, we do have two teams in uh -oh. boot camp. They're not dropping straight middle on top of each other, which is what we usually see. So this might be a longer drawn out hot drop fight. And look who it is. Black Panthers. Okay? Yes. The team that we saw pop off in round number one and just been dead silent throughout mm -hmm. the rest of the day. So this is a big chance for the Black Panthers to pop back. I mean, boot camp is a heck of a spot to drop. I mean, this is a southern zone and they have to take on B-Town. So they have mm -hmm. to play this very carefully and they got to make some plays. Just to throw it out there, though, OSS, your team, very close by. We've seen when teams fight too long in yes. boot camp, the team close by will come in and third party and pick up the scrap. So OSS, hey, they played with confidence that last game. They're ready. They're fired up. They are looking for that third party opportunity if it presents itself. Absolutely, indeed. And Sandhawk is just such a small map that anytime you shoot a shot, regardless if you're in an engagement or not, the second you shoot a shot, you have to put almost a timer in your head. Yeah. Because you know that that's basically like an alarm for mm -hmm. every other team around you, and they're going to come in and look to take your dang head off. So yeah. you got to just kind of stick and move and shoot and move, shoot and move here in this one here. And you can just see the movement very, very slow so far yeah. here in boot camp. I mean, nobody wants to make a mistake because first knock is crucial. Yes. Crucial here in these kind of fights. Yeah, it's, it's not easy, especially with so many angles, so, so many nooks and crannies. You got to be very aware of your surroundings. And it looks like we have somewhat of a 2-2 split coming oh. out of B-Town. And that might work in their favor as Diego 
running open into the sight lines if he's not aware of his right hand side you this see right dangerous. there yeah they're getting flanked right now by the b-town players this is a very dangerous spot for black panthers i mean they're this push up right here is so risky drake is looking uh, a little bit off of that area so they are going to get this push up so dior's mm -hmm. Is gonna push up into oh, the lobster building. Yeah, and now Drake, he's got the nade like a little. That's a good, good, good nade though. Oh, just a little short. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can see it's really, yeah, the rest of the Black Panthers like, all right, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna back up off of this one. Yeah, the nades definitely gotta watch out for that. And B-Town readjusting. They were trying to flank down on that southern side and just as they got that flank in, Black Panthers readjusted on the northern side to put themselves out of the sight line. So it's like a chess match right now, yeah. going back and forth, but Clock's ticking, right? Yep. Like you said, the second they start fighting, that rings an alarm bell. But other teams already are just putting themselves into position as these two teams, they haven't even fully looted yet. Yeah. And they have to finish a fight and loot up. Hey, loot up, they're going to have to. Again, welcome everybody in watching the Snapdragon Pro Series by VMC. This is PUBG Mobile competitive here at its finest. This is... From the beginning here, this is where all the teams that are fresh looking to make it into those big leagues coming up mm -hmm. here. And remember, it's top three that are going to move on to that next position. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Looks Black like Black Panthers. Panthers. Yeah, they breached on into the compound. They're sticking close together using that four-man grouping. And I think that's the way you got to do it, especially you in, you know, you got to get the trades. Yeah. You know, in these tight-knit CQCs, the trade is crucial. Hopefully, you just get the opening. But if your player gets knocked, you better trade that back. So they're using that right now, using some grenades, trying to find some utility. But look at this. Black Panthers, definitely the aggressive team. Oh, my gosh. They are just full sending it on here. Uh, this is something that uh -oh. Glitter had talked to them about in the camera are saying, hey, you guys got to play this maybe just a little bit slower here because full sending it like this in without any intel is very risky. One wrong utility. Nice cross up, though, there. Beautiful angle there from Dior's. And he's going to go ahead and, oh, an ADS 6X. Oh, that was very good. risky and going to get eliminated. Mm. So Black Panthers out uh, too aggressive. That was yeah. by far too aggressive there. I mean, they just walked into the trap and B-Town said, yeah, four eliminations. We'll take that all day. Yeah, they walked into that hallway, and there was three angles set up by B-Town. The one at the stairs, and then one in each small little mini room. And that just really trounced them. Black Panthers, I, I called, I, they were either going to tear this map up or fall flat on their face. Oh, my gosh. And they felt harder on their face than I've ever seen any team. They just, just like that, they're gone. Ugh, you hate to really see that from Black Panthers, but you know what? Still a lot of time left, a lot of plays that can be had here mm -hmm. in the Snapdragon Pro Series. Got to give a huge shout out once again to Snapdragon Elite Gaming when winning matters for putting this on. I'll tell you what, man, these guys are doing more for mobile gaming in my eyes mm -hmm. than almost any other major company. These guys care, you know, and I you talk to them and you say, hey, yeah. you know, we want, mobile gamers want this. They say, oh, we know. And, yeah. they, and they confirm, and they, they, they deliver. So we're looking to see which teams are going to deliver here at this stage. You know, and we're starting to see some squads step up. We see Just for mm -hmm. Fun in that second place. Dauntless putting out consistent points. But look at this. Oh, it says, oh. I see them in the feed. Uh -oh. One of them just looks like he went down to fall damage. And uh -oh. OSS! Oh. SOS. Oh, uh, so uh, I picked, I picked, <coughs> I picked uh, Black <coughs> Panthers. You picked OSS. Who, who did Glitter pick? Because I feel like she's going to just get some crazy. Pr she, I don't think she picked one. You know what she picked? Who? The fans, dude. The, the fans? Everybody watching <laughs> here today. You guys are the real winners. Hold oh, up. Man. Just for fun, though. Just for fun. Two elimination points. Four up. This is a good start for them. And Sandhawk, the most difficult map. That's true. To be consistent on. Yeah. If if Just For Fun could do four games in a row where they just do pretty consistent, pretty well. I mean, this team. Actually, hold that thought, Jukes. Just For Fun was my team pick. I, I take that back. Uh, I, I, right, like, like, like from the very beginning, I picked yeah, Just yeah, For yeah, Fun. Yeah, this okay. is my team. All right. Yeah, All yeah, right. For, forget Black Panthers. You know, from, Just For Fun, that's the team I'm looking at. Yeah, that's, okay. my, that's my team pick right now. We'll see how they do. First circle, still closing on in. And Sandhawk, 
We've already seen a lot of fights. We have two teams completely eliminated, and it's not even the second circle yet. I'll tell you what, man. I could hear the bandwagon squeals a squealing oh, okay. right now, dude. Okay. They're squealing <laughs> real hard right now, you know, just for fun. Putting in a hole. They're having some fun right now. I'll yeah. tell you that. They're putting in some good work here. Let's look at EXP. EXP had a really good finish in the last game. And they are kind of keeping it up on the top of the hill to wild card. Now, it looks like they do get spotted. Nice little pre-fire there. Oh, they do get the first knock on the Wasted. So are they going to decide to really press this and take it on? Remember, these kind of engagements, very dangerous because there could always be a team close by. So far, me looking at the map, I don't see anybody nearby here. So they really need to take advantage of this fight. Yeah, but of course, EXP doesn't know that. And if it's they true. take this fight, if they make the push, they're pushing away from, you know, more center position, per se. So they might not decide to do that, or they might push on up, because that hilltop is a good position to have. They're slowly doing it. Oh, and oh, actually, using the buggy dangerous. to do a flank. Yes, there he's going. He's full sending in by himself, and I think he's going to get caught oh, out. No. That is not a tree you want to crash into, John. Bug. Sid, psych. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't like this angle. He's going to full send it on into the center here. Drives through the smoke right onto his teammates. Very interesting play. I think he was just trying to get a run over through that smoke. Doesn't catch oh. it, but here he goes in the front lines now. Uh-oh. Great. Oh, you great, great trade. One. Yeah. Great trade right there. And Marco, one HP. Is he going to pop around the corner? He can hear that first AK. He and he's going to take Got advantage him. of it. The sound cues Beautifully done. on point from Bug. J-O-D. That is two members down from Wildcard. And EXP is not letting up the gas. Yeah, they should just continue to completely just dominate this fight and take advantage of Wildcard's mishap here. Here comes some of the utility that Molotov doesn't connect. And it looks like they are going to leave Sinner knocked. So they're going to push this three versus three. Wildcard Legend. Ready for this one here. Nice little free fire, but oh. gets thirsted right there. It's just wasted really up here to try and hold it down. He's one HP and gonna oh. get, oh, gonna survive. Uh, and EXP yeah. are the team that get eliminated there. That just seems like too much indecision. Yes. You know, the, the synergy from them on that push. You just see like some commitment, some not. Yeah. And that little hesitation, Wildcard just took advantage of it. Yeah, they wanted to go for the push and not do the revive, so they wanted to do it quick. However, the teammates weren't in position to do a quick push, so there was the, they waffled. They dropped the re uh, they dropped yeah, the revive. They waffled. Yeah. By the time they pushed, if that player just hit the revive when he got the double knock, yep. they would have been four up and it would have been a four v three, four v two. It would have been an easy finish. So the hesitations definitely playing in. And this is Sandhawk of all maps. They can't no do it. hesitations can be had on this map of wildcard. Lucky break for them as the second circle is shifts on up towards the eastern side. So this area a little bit familiar, especially if it goes up north towards that quarry area. But just for fun, on that northern side, will they get the circle blessed? We'll see in a little bit. As right now, they're just they're chilling. They're chilling on this mountaintop with not a care in the world. Yeah, lucky break indeed. But remember, it's top three that move on. And we are watching North America. See right there on the left, Monster Energy. Yes. Unleash the Beast, our energy drink sponsor here mm -hmm. for the Snapdragon Pro Series. Oh, man, I got mine ready right beside me here, and I'm pumped up because, you know, like I was talking about earlier, this is NA. Top three, move on. We are going to be very hypercritical of these squads. You know, we do understand that it is their first time, right? Uh, and there's a lot of asterisks there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're going to be going up against the top three, the best from other regions. Mm -hmm. Right, and we want good representatives coming here to represent NA yes. and hopefully move up to that PMPL stage in the future. So, these one of these teams, right, could definitely be you know our representatives in those bigger stages. So, we want to start seeing these little problems, these little issues, mistakes mm -hmm. get fixed now before that next stage happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this. I'm not gonna name any names, but there has been a team uh -huh. that went from the PMCO all the way up to the PMGC. That's correct. You know, and I think uh, they had a, a very veteran player on their squad that, you know, kind of helped them out and got to that uh, PMGC stage. Not going to name any names, but, you know, we've seen it before. We've seen it before. It could happen. And when one of these teams right here, you know, who knows? We might be able to see them at the PMGC stage next year. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we saw a player like, like Kill Switch, right? Yes. Start from the bottom, and now he is a superstar for North America. And this is exactly the place the where he NA was champion. born. The NA and back to back. Back NA champion. Back to back NA regional champions. There, tons of money and prize for one of the best teams in North America. 
started right here not very long ago. And I'm lucky to see that hunger, that yes. drive, you know, that talent here. And, you know, so far, I think we are starting to see some games pop up. We are seeing some, you know, mistakes happen. Yeah. But, hey, you can't teach clutch. No, you that's, can't. That's one thing you can't. You know, once it gets to the show, it's time to put up or shut up. And this is a great experience for all these squads here. And anybody that's never played competitive PUBG Mobile, I want to see your name in here eventually. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I've seen a lot, like, you know, we, oh, hold on. We did get another circle shift. It goes over to the western side, kind of like centralized up. But to go back on your point, Hot Jukes, right now I'm seeing elements of that greatness, right? Yeah. I see, you know, one team pretty consistent. I'm seeing, like, Black Panthers. When they're on, they're on. When they know how to fight, they know how to fight. So it's like, it's it's there, but I haven't seen a team fully encompass that just yet. So, yeah. I mean, this is PMCO after all. They're going to be, these teams will be missing a few tools That's in right. their two toolkits. So they're still practicing, they're still learning, but I'm seeing promise. Yeah, because we're, we're seeing all the fundamentals, right? We yes. see the aggressiveness mm -hmm. that works from one squad. We see one other team that's very passive and that mm -hmm. works for them. Yeah. Another one very tactical in the rotations, yeah. but they're sticking to one strength. Yeah. When it comes to PMPL and above, mm -hmm. those teams have all of those. They flip, yeah. they flip it like a light switch. They are yes. hyper aggressive one second, and then once they realize it, they can, as a full squad, yeah. go instantly passive in just a matter of nanoseconds. So mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, there's a whole other level here in the future. But you know what? Like I said, we see the fundamentals, and that's a mm -hmm. good thing. But we want to see that complete package develop here. It's still day number one, but I'm happy to see the ingredients here. Yeah, day number one, but we only got two days. That's right. So, like, ideally, I like to see more days for these teams. But, I mean, this also puts another different dynamic. It's like, this is it. Yep. You get 10 games, show us what you got, and you got to make it on it. And 10 games, like you mentioned at the beginning of the show, that's more than, you know, more than what enough. we used to have. That's true. So, you know, if anything, these teams, they, they got it good. So we'll see what happens, though. Circle closing on in. This fourth circle shift is what's really going to take a lot of teams out. Right now, I see I'm looking at the mini-map. A lot of the teams already in the zone, just chilling on the edges of the map for the next one. It's that, you know, that's it's that Thanos circle yeah. that we're so used to seeing on Sandhawk. Yes, indeed. So we're going to see where this zone is going to end up going here. This is always a tough one because, like I mentioned, there's that big water of Pine Island right dead center of it. So you have to decide which island's gonna go. You can see mostly, obviously most of the teams are gonna head towards that quarry area. That's where the majority of the zone is. But man, a lot of teams down in the south by Champ, Camp Charlie. No teams in the blue zone here. So I don't think we've seen mm -hmm. a squad really kind of try to utilize that, that med kick Nova strat. Yeah. We'll see what happens though. Once, you know, once this zone shifts, some teams are gonna be like, ooh, I wish we had 40 first place. Right. <laughs> right. So, oh, that zone shift coming out on your screen. Here and it we goes go. a little bit to up to the northwest. But look at how many teams are not in this circle, Hodgix. The collision paths, it's like alarms ringing in my head. This team, that team, this team, they're going to get into fights. We're going to see a lot of action happen. We're going to really see half the, half the lobby get wiped in the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, in the next couple of minutes, we're seeing half the lobby gone. 13 teams remaining. Just start counting the clock here. You can see the kill feed is starting to get lit up here. You can see Birded Silence trying to make a full rotation on in Killjoy in a whole lot of trouble. He had that nade cocked and loaded. He's going to try to make it to that tree. No oh. way. Yeah, no way you're making it back there. Mm -mm. Nope. Simple mistake. Instantly yeah. punished there. And Saren takes those all day long. Sometimes you just got to realize, okay, I just got to hold this spot down. There's no way I could run it back. Yeah. Right. That was a amateur mistake. But it looks like it, their team is going to try and help them out there. The zone has shifted though, right? They got to get a move on. And just for fun, that's the opening they needed. They had two knocked, but they picked the two players back up and now they're pressing on in. And now Saren on the other side, they're kind of in panic mode. They're not sure if they should run or hold the hold the push down as J just for fun, making that oh. push, holding the angle, not connecting what? the shot. So he's got to hit these. Oh my goodness, little TJ. He wants those back all day long. And there goes a nice little pre-fire now, but it's a little too late. Oh, okay. never there mind. We go. Right on time, but now it's just him. It's up to him to make this play. He's got that UMP going for the reload. Clutch or kick. Yep, clutch or kick. Clutch or kick. Oh, he's going for the med kick. His team's got to be telling him. Oh, he goes he for the gun switch. 
Oh, and the drop. Oh! And goes down to the blues. I pop a blue's gonna take out Saren as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, what do you think about that, Zute? It was that slight hesitation. He was rounding the corner as the player was finishing the first state. If he just went one more millimeter over, he would have got him right in the side. Good fight, though, but oh, like man. we said, this is the toughest match to be consistent on. Here we go. Just for fun, six points, though, not bad. Action is still burning. Talking about burning, we got burn in silence taking a fight with the team right here. Push, push. Pushing in and out, peeking in and out. They're surrounded right now. Burn and Silence not in a good spot. And that player gets caught Bamba. going for that first A kit. Can't get caught. Trying to heal here. You got to make a place with that gun skill. Here comes skills of mine. We haven't got a chance to really talk about this squad too much so far in this tournament. And they're looking to make some noise here. Burn and Silence NA does go down. They're going to go for that reset here. And like I said, just a few minutes, nine squads remaining. Mm -hmm. And the blue zone's coming for more. Oh, yeah. Dauntless, the team that did very well earlier. They got four players up. They're oh. not in the zone, though, because we got a next zone ship. It goes up to the mountaintop where wow. B-Town is chilling. We'll see that in a second. Yeah, right there. Goodness Ooh, gracious. B-Town, they got it good, this one. This is their game to really catch back up Time in the to leaderboards. Shine. Time to shine for B-Town 2.0. They have to make something happen here. This is where a game that they need to be getting 10, 20 eliminations and the chicken dinner. I mean, mm. with this kind of zone, it's honestly either time, it's either they get taken out by wild card or they make it happen. Yeah, I don't think they'll get that many eliminations because this hilltop side is so wide and expanding. If anything, they do not want to overextend too much. They want to let all the other teams fight their way in and take each other out. So we'll see what happens as both on the other side, teams getting pressed by the blue, teams getting gate kept from the teams in front of them. This is Sandhawk at its peak action. Play zone now, Papa Blue putting in some damage. Sonic, you can't have time, you gotta run in, and he does get taken out by that blue zone. That isn't gonna be a finish for one of the other members, and oh, this one hurts. Look at his health mm -hmm. getting just dwindled away. First aid's gone. First level one helmet and vest gone. Stranger's gonna drop that, gotta go ahead and pick that right back up, hit that lay down, and now it's time to use that med spec. He does have seven to his name. Yeah. Gonna buy him a little bit of time. It's only seven, though. If this, was, seven. If, if this was a PMPL level, you know, med 30. 30 at the minimum. At the minimum. At the minimum. Yeah. So we do see some teams trying to have that med strat as a backup, but definitely not pulling it off like, you know, some of the more experienced teams. And just like that, next circle comes up. Only 20, 20, 21 players remaining. STE trying to make it on in. They have some two players oh, in the blue zone. This one hurts. Yeah, that that first aid. He's got to run it on in. No yep. first aid oh, left. Oh, he sees a he sees a crate though. That might be able to pick up something. Okay, now he is gonna go again. Try to get picked up five. That's really good for him. Mm -hmm. But he isn't gonna have really much time at all. Bolt does look like he may be able to make oh. it into this one, but nope. no, sir. Bolt picked him right on up. Easy point for him. Mm -hmm. Flash. Ah, trying to get on in. Yeah, eight teams still left. That player with the med strat, he's going to go out in eighth place. That's not many placement points whatsoever. But back on to the action because the zone's closing in. Here we go. Again, Puppeteer coming in from the south side with four players Woo! still alive. They managed to survive the intense action, but they're going to be driving into the sight lines of B Town. If they could get low enough, they can oh! make it in. And. The last ditch effort, no first aids. Can he get, get the elimination? He gets, he gets the point and an extra placement Take it to the right bank. there. Take it to the bank right there. Beautifully done. Last ditch effort, successful. Still quite a few squads up here. Wildcard have three members still remaining, four eliminations to their name, and they're hunting down B-Town. B-Town got it. I want to see them get a little bit more aggressive oh. here, and that's how you do it. Pain inflicting a whole bunch of pain right here and wasted as well. This is a beautiful angle to have in this zone. Oh, nice lay down. Lay down just in time. Look at that little piece of rock. That is a little difference maker. That could save your life. Fresh trying to get some nice shots. That's Mug, but he's burning. Oh! He's on fire. Fresh. And wild card is See ya. out. Three Burnt. teams left. We have BTE B Town with three up. They could get the revive on the fourth. And the Puppeteers still playing strong. And the solo player out of you, LT Ult. Rush, last one up. He's got to play this very quiet. Tell you what, Wildcard needs to change their name to Burn in Silence after that one. But look at this. You got <laughs> Ultimate Gaming Rush. Gets hit by that name. Look at that little shimmy back. Oh, let me just back up right here. 
Oh. That one kind of hurt a little bit. Oh, but here comes Papa Blue. Oh, not a time to go forward. All right, time to go forward. Blue zone's coming. Can he hold on to it here? The steak, the shimmies, trying to survive. Shimmying at the same time. Oh, the blue zone. He doesn't want to stand up by any means if he doesn't have to, but this yeah. blue zone's going to hurt. Gonna, Drake's going to have to stand up. up. He has to. Oh, the jump. Oh. Survives. And here comes and here Drake. Drake. Yep, Drake said, okay, where are you at? Let me uh, pick the... Oh! oh! From the ground and Rush trying to get that finish. He wants to go for that first oh, game with the, the nade. nade. Hold on, Puppeteers, so though. Oh, here they come. They're going to capitalize off that. It's a 4v3 situation. They need a knock to even it up. Beautiful. They get it. But they don't have the angles. They need to push down from the hilltop. Pain. And there's a trade by Reckless. It is only. They're running up. Oh, and oh another my trade. Gosh. So lit. But here comes Yi from the side. And you got Johnny in the smoke. It's a 1v1. It is a 1v1, but oh, he's going two. for the rest. He is going for the rest. And I don't believe he. Oh, he, he, got, he got it. it. Yeah. Two, no, B Town no, no, has okay, two. Yes, he did get Drake up. B so Drake -town is has two. up, lit. Now he is. Now they're gonna go for the full reset here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. Too this, much time. This is not good for Puppeteer. They're gonna pick up Reckless, but it's gonna be basically a four v two now. Yeah, yeah it's a four v two. Can they make it? If he hits some straight shots with the oh, smokes, no, they can come right back. Any utility, a nade, oh, a, a double nade. Oh my oh, gosh, just oh, these nades, Hajux. Can he get him? Oh, oh he gets one. Got one. Oh, but the gun skill, they just oh. saw, which took a little too much time. And it is good old B-Town 2.0 getting the chicken dinner right there. I wanted 20 from them. No, I, I mean, 20, they, but they got quite a few. Yeah, they did what I was saying. You know, this giant hillside, it's not like just one summit peak where you can farm eliminations like the way uh, Burn in Silence did sure. on Miramar, right? Yeah. This mountaintop is wide and sloping, so you got to play a bit more careful, and that's exactly what B-Town did. And they picked up a good amount of eliminations, maybe not as much as you wanted, but that is great. Chicken dinner plus around 10, 11 eliminations, I think. <laughs> That was a great finish for B-Town. I guarantee you, they uh, they have no complaints. I think they're pretty happy with that one, Glitter. Yeah, you know, I was watching that, and I wrote it down because while we were there, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of like, will the experience that we know B-Town has, will yeah. that be the extra factor that kind of pushes in their favor to get them that chicken dinner because they really mm -hmm. shouldn't have lost that, right? They were yeah. poised to win that. So that's not a surprise, but I'm just happy that we're seeing them step up to the plate. Yeah, mm -hmm. same. I mean, I think that was beautifully executed right there. They had the position. I think I would have liked to see them take wild card a little bit earlier mm -hmm. so they could dominate that whole side of the hillside, but it's risky, right? Yeah, really, exactly. really risky. So uh, the fact that they played it safe and we're still able to get it done, I, I, I can't, don't, can't mind it. First place. Tons, yeah. of, tons of eliminations. I mean, they got to be happy. Good game. Good game. GGs. Well executed. Played it safe. I mean, you can play aggressive or safe and still win. Right. Yeah. Play to your strengths. Capitalize on opportunity. And that's exactly what they did. And we see so many teams mess that up. That's true. Uh, but they didn't. Well, no one took my advice. We'll just say that, okay? Uh, so, some, someone didn't start. take that's my right. advice at the uh. beginning of this match. Sandhawk always proving to be a difficult one. But one more match right around the corner. Final Erangel is going to be coming up. And, of course, highlights and analysis after this. Snapdragon Pro Series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming. Monster Energy and DHL. I'm on the miss of snap any minute casually when it stop tripping on me stop dissing on me yeah i got a dream can't take it from me my fire's burning now i'm always learning tell me where to go man i'm on a journey yeah i can't explain it i get excited keep a 300 king leonidas strap in because it's gonna be a long ride working on me every single day and night there comes a time when your worlds will collide if it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Got to get it here. I don't want to wait, take what I want, then I go train, gotta get a win, I won't lose the game, this is my year, I ain't gonna break, strap in cause it's gonna be a long ride, working 
working on me every single day and night. There comes a time when your worlds will collide. If it's holding you back, push it right to the side. On another level, I will never settle. Mind over metal, get the gold medal. On another level, I will never settle. Mind over matter, get the gold medal. Ain't got no time for no care. I work too hard to get me up. Welcome to the place where dreams come true, where everything you want can be yours, if and only if you're willing to work for them, you're willing to hurt for them, but most of all, you're willing to be first for them, ha, look. I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. Welcome back, everyone, to the Snapdragon Pro Series. Match number four in the books. And the boys are back in town as B-Town takes home the chicken dinner on San Hawk. And we'll oh. be able to see how that affects the standings. The, they're close. Yo, too close. I mean, you said it yeah. at the top of the show, Zute, right? That mm -hmm. that 16th place was going to be by one point. Mm -hmm. Look at this top three. Literally one point. Tied at the top. 49 points by Stranger. It's anyone's game. Literally anyone's game. Anyone's game. And wild card and fourth right behind. This yep. is so close. And speaking about boys are back in town. The boys oh, are indeed back in town being on the first page. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge for B-Town. And did I not literally say that? Going into Sandhawk, it could be anybody's yep, game yep. that was on that second page. And that one solid performance propels them onto the first page as we see where the rest of the squads are shaking out right near. Now you can see Puppeteers moving up a little bit, almost on that first page, 10th right. place mm -hmm. overall. But Black Panther's still struggling a little bit down there. And OSS slowly, slowly making moves. At least they're not in 15th mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a big, big game coming up here next. Because OSS, considering where they're at right now, one chicken dinner here mm -hmm. could literally launch them very close up to top three. So this is very, very important game on this next one. First place is where these squads are going to be looking for. Well, especially because after today, they get time to kind of reset, yeah. think about what they did on the day, right? And then coming into tomorrow, they want to have a solid position with the final five games. You don't want to have to be fighting for your life every single time. You want to have a little bit of cushion to work with because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say the cutoff is brutal yeah. top three yeah usually most stages once you get into the pro league it, it extends a little bit like top five top eight mm -hmm. and you get more games to play but you know amateur league it's like you got to prove your worth really quickly and it's like top three ten games make it or break it yeah yeah we're not so lenient here okay we're putting them through <laughs> their paces and as we take a look back at some of the moments from that last match was the sandhawk was it everything you hoped for? I, I think so. You know, what? I, one thing I know that it's something that you didn't hope for, <laughs> right? Black Panthers, full sending it here. I mean, 
This was a super risky push. They had no reason to do it. They could yeah. have just, just sit back, waited to try to get that first knock, but they full set it not in and just got eliminated so fast. And not to mention by B-Town. I tried. I did my best. I tried to give them the advice, and you were even saying, Zoo, had they not taken that 50-50, it could have been completely flipped in their favor. Yeah. But if they won that fight, though, right, if they took down B-Town, mm -hmm. yeah. Black Panthers would be in a position of where B-Town was at the end game right. and win that. So literally 50-50. They fall flat on their face, or they could have won the game yeah. if they want that one fight in boot camp. It is crazy, but I mean, we're not making this stuff up. Yep. Say it's Sandhawk. Scripted. It's Sandhawk. Right? <laughs> okay. Sandhawk is just a, a whole nother story here, and we just saw a ton of punishment. One thing I would have really liked to see, though, was at least one squad go for that heel strat, but mm -hmm. it looks like everybody wanted to mm -hmm. shoot it up here. Tons of damage all across the board. Ooh, and look at, I mean, B-Town's looking pretty strong here. To be fair, Sandhawk typically has a pretty even damage True. dealt on these graphs, mm -hmm. but B-Town's still managing to be up there at almost the 1,400 damage mark. And when you think about the fact that that's from 11 Elims, that's not too shabby. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not at all. Efficiency. Yeah. 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 I wish there would have been like a blue zone damage graph. <laughs> you imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Would have dwarfed all these squads, adds down. I mean, pop a blue, put in work on Sandhawk like it does. Look at that, though, just for fun. Mm -hmm. Once again, yeah. putting up elimination points, consistency. This has to be probably one of the most consistent teams I think I've seen so far today. Oh, yeah. First two games, they were playing quiet, and they kind of just inked their way in placement points. And then the last two games that we saw, they went out early, but they're fighting their way in and getting the elimination point. I think overall, just for fun, most well-rounded team we've seen so far. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And hopefully they'll be able to continue that tomorrow. But this time, I'm not going to screw this up. This is the MVP, okay? This yeah. is not the team. <laughs> this is MVP for B-Town, and it was Sing this time around. Mm. Okay, that's a little bit more MVP right, status, right? right? Yeah, four eliminations, 326 damage, tons of survival time, great plays there from seeing but yeah today we have just seen single players put up ridiculous stats and the real question is will they be able to repeat it to be fair we've actually gotten very lucky and we've gotten to talk about a different team every, every single, single that's time right, yeah. which isn't all of that common so mm. we'll have to see if that plays into tomorrow oh mm. that's gonna be crazy and honestly that's gonna make the leaderboards even more sketchy not to mention it's still it's so ridiculously close two squads are tied at the top yeah. and any one of these teams here at the bottom second page a chicken dinner right here is gonna make tomorrow ridiculous ridiculous which is literally <laughs> what happened for b-town in this sandhawk match they went from not really being in our conversation yeah, so. to getting the chicken dinner, propelling themselves up into a much more solid place. So it's going to be really interesting. Like I said earlier, we have one more match right around the corner and things are going quickly here today. So when we come back, final Aaron Gale match, don't go anywhere. Pro series is brought to you by Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, and DHL. Welcome to the place where dreams come true. Where everything you want can be yours. If and only if you're willing to work for them. You're willing to hurt for them. But most of all, you're willing to be first for him. Ha, look, I'm going straight to the top. I don't know how I would stop, like it or not. I got some goals that I'm hitting. You hear what I'm spitting? It's hot. Look what I got. Whole lot of passion and pain. The road to success is insane. Stay out my lane, cause I'm on a mission. I'm getting what stands in my way. Yeah, I'm a beast. I wouldn't play with me, baby. The way that I'm training is crazy, and I do it daily. You want to talk about drive? I got more drive than Mercedes. I've never been lazy. I'm in the room, it's a way to learn. You want to compete? Well, get better first. I got ten toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my worth. I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. <laughs> yeah, I'ma work through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be first. Look, I don't want anyone's sympathy. 
I understand what it's meant for me. I give my focus and energy. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. But mentally, I'm undefeated. They hear that and say I'm conceited. Like there's no reason. Like I don't beat them and beat them and come back again just to teach them. That when you work under pressure, you reach higher measures. They'll try and bring you down, but you cannot let them and only get better and focus on cheddar. Eye on the prize and you'll become a legend. Like uh, when I'm in the room, it's a red alert. You wanna compete, we'll get better first. I got 10 toes in the dirt. Push through the hurt just to show them my work. I'm the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the best. I never stress. I know what's next. I'm who they test. Like we playing chess. But I'm unimpressed. So now let me flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm a work. Through the struggle and hurt. Cause I know my worth. And I gotta be first. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be first. They don't know what's gotten into me. How'd I turn pain into energy? Through all the struggle and hurt, remember my work, and that's why I gotta be first. <laughs>
and they're in the top. But before we go any further, we got a hard drop this time around uh -oh. on the last match of Aaron Go. We got two teams coming in here. I believe this is Ultimate Gaming NA versus Saren. A little bit split fight, you know, one team taking the northern side, one team taking the southern side. Yeah, Milta, always a fun drop. I always love this location because it is so great rotationally, no matter where the zone goes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of open paths and a lot of good vehicle routes so he can be able to rotate safely. So, mm -hmm. X set. Yeah, X set. X set, Lance X set literally back to back regional champions. You know, this is, uh, even when I played, I love Milta. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, X set are the top team in North America. I and mean, they yeah. land here for a reason. So, uh, the, at the end of the day, though, they land uncontested for the most part. You know, so oh. a lot of these teams mm -hmm. that now they're having to work against another one, you're going to have to make some plays. But Saren, Campers, very true to his name right now. Mm -hmm. Camping it out. Camping Laying it pro. out. TPP, this is the last match. You know, some teams here, they're going to start playing a lot more passive because they, they really, this is their tournament life now yeah. on the line. I know there's a day two, but it pretty much comes down to where teams end up after day one to make that top three. If this was like top five, yeah. way more leeway, right? I agree. But top three, a brutal cutoff. Yeah, you don't want to give yourself any room to, uh, you don't, you don't want to give the teams at the top room to breathe. Like you got to catch up right here, right now, because it is just top three. Your tournament life, if you get fourth place, you, you're staying home and you're going to have to wait till the next split to have a chance to yeah. move on up. And that's a long time, a that's long a time long waiting. And if, if you're a decent squad, like to be honest with you, if you don't make it here, mm. we see teams break up, just give up to say, hey, yeah. you know what? You know, we're done. We see some get upset and just like go ham and mm -hmm. in the off season and come back the next time. Yeah. But you don't want to be one of those squads. Oh, just hey, just throw it out there, though, Jigs. What's up? You know how we've been seeing individual players putting up like team stats worth of yeah, damages yeah, yeah. And, and eliminations? Uh huh. There's a chance you do well enough as a player here at this stage. And a team could recruit you from the that, PMPL. That's a big point. But before we talk about that, Ultimate Gaming NA, the fight is playing out. The nade to maybe open up the fight. It looks like Ultimate Gaming NA rush. They got two players across the street, so they are contesting one another, and they need the loot. So I love that teams aren't just backing out with no loot and just fit, try and play the rest of the game with nothing. Instead, they're going to try and take the fight, get the points, and the loot. They're making plays, 100%. I mean, they want to get these four points early. And, oh, Freaky does have a really good angle here. Yeah, I think Killjoy realizes it. Going to have to back off here because he's going to watch out for that utility. And this is just that game of chess we talk about. That first knock is so critical. Yeah, look at that Molotov came right onto that roof. So a great, great kind of... Uh, Little retreat there from Freaky. Tactical, mm. tactical retreat. Yeah, Saren pushing on up. They use that Molotov, clear off uh -oh. that angle. Now they can push into this player's house. Infinity, try and push on up with Killjoy. And now these teams are converging closer and closer. Rush with the UMP, using the balcony, not getting a lot of damage oh. in, but he gets the push. Where's the trade? Rush. He gets the double, the gun switch, a one for two. This guy, Rush. It's in wow. his name. He rushed them down right there. Great job. And now Saren on the back foot with only two players, 4v2. They he, they got owned, to be honest. Rush put in that work there. Here comes Campers. Oh, goes through that uh, nice little gas can explosion. Trying to get in some cheeky plays. Trying to find some angles as well, but he's just giving away. It's just him up. Yeah, it's yeah. over. It's over. Can he be able to steal one away? He should just back off and wait for his team. Yep, that's, exactly that's exactly what he's exactly doing. It. Yeah. Perfectly done by Ultimate Gaming. And unless he gets a double right here, he's got some nice clean peaks, but oh, taking too much oh damage. Oh my gosh. Where's the trade though? The, yo, he doesn't go for the thirst. He wants the hero play, Campers. but he, he's wide in the oh open. Oh my gosh. Too many Reloading? Angles. What is. Yeah, that yeah. just gave it up there. He went for it, made a play, but Saren is going to go down. And this isn't a team that we saw at the top, so. Mm. You know, they got to be breathing big size of disappointment here. But hopefully they go to the drawing board, watch the show, try to pick up something, some mm -hmm. information, and just do that homework. Because they say, you know, the old saying, when in doubt, work harder. When in doubt, work harder. Or when in doubt, sit back, relax, $1,250. <laughs> yeah. Because that's true. Last place. That's last place. Yep. Walks away with $1,250. So, I mean, of course, everyone wants that top three. But... At the end of the day, I feel like everyone, yep. our winners here, not only are you playing PUBG Mobile, great video game, having a lot of fun, you're also making that moolah. That's true. I mean, not to mention, you know, like you get in that top three, you move on to the next stage, and you move on to the next stage. I mean, look, we're here in person. 
mm -hmm. right, in studio. Yeah. So who knows the chance of possibly, you know, traveling, you know, mm -hmm. with your squad, meeting him up in person. Look at this. Speaking of in person, right, J-Star, squad Ooh. that is dead that last right five now. Five points, I think. Five points in four matches. Trying to make something happen, and they got one player knocked completely out of position. I mean, this is just, this is just not it. Not it. Not at it at all. Yeah, J Star. They've, I think their, I think their momentum tanked that one match where they pushed OSS right when they had the the advantage, yeah. and they just went for it. Aggressive play. I respect it, but it went so terribly bad. And after that game, arguing. I bet you they were arguing after that oh, game. Oh yeah. And you can kind of see it. It's just they're all they're falling apart. Oh, they will pick up that point. There's no way J Star could pick that player back up. Maybe they'll try. They're they're kind of trying for it. So I guess even though their confidence is shaking, they're still trying to play together as a team. We'll see if they could get that revive. Let's see if they can. Here comes the re uh, legend from J Star trying to help out his squad mate, trying to go for that revive. Ooh, oh, the low toss nade above this wall. That could oh. be it. Oh my gosh, Sonic mm -hmm. just straight oh. punishing him. J Star, just no options. Just trying to make something happen, and they're just getting punished from every angle. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the buggy? Yeah, he's going to have to retreat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but he's going to probably get popped out of this one if he ain't careful. He's going to try. He does two lines oh, of support nice smoke. angle wise. Yeah, and the smokes do cover up some sidelines. J Star's legend will make it back, but at the end of the day, still a loss. Still down lost. To three players. Yeah, they couldn't get tricked back up. I mean, just simple mistakes here from J Star have just been costing them dearly. And like you mentioned, you know, it's it's horrible on the mental game here. For some of these players, they have put in a lot of work. They were so confident. Mm -hmm. And when you have a bad day one, like you mentioned, you start getting internal conflicts within the team. Just a lot of just pointing fingers. Mm -hmm. And that's never good for your mental game. But you know what? Next zone. They're going to have to do some mental work here, right? Because mm -hmm. they have to decide. Are you going to go to the northern part of the circle or the southern? This, this is one of my least favorite types of zones. Yeah. I mean, you really have to make a bet here. Yeah, least favorite if you were a player. That's actually. true. That's well, true. For us, though, we hey, get to enjoy the action. <laughs> I mean, we see this so much in PMPL. It makes for really great action. We see a lot of clean tactical plays as we head back to a little bit of a replay, I believe, here. I think, oh, he was running back, and I think, oh, no, 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 this is not a replay. They got the revive. I saw one of J-Star go down before we, you know, go back onto this scene. So they have three up. They're in a decent position on the map, but J-Star, they're definitely not in a decent position on the overall leaderboards. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, uh, J-Star is going to have to DHL some themselves, you know, some some game plans, you know, some strategies, <laughs> you know. They're going to need that shit mid quick mm -hmm. uh, because or, they... Or chug some monster energy and go ham, go monster. Or one or the other. One or the other, you know. They're going to have to go to the drawing board here. But Dauntless, they have had a heck of a tournament. Skipper did quite a bit of damage to that oh, vehicle. B-Town going aggressive. This yeah, is a B push. Yeah, B-Town full sending it here. Skipper getting real skippy with that grenade. Can he hit it? Skipper, 4-3. Bang! Oh! Got him. Johnny goes down. And a nice little, you know, heal from Rishu. Very nice. Private's going to throw down some smoke. Oh, so Dalness is in a three-man position. Yeah. And it looks like they are hopping in the buggies, and they're just going to just take the money and run here. No, no, no. I think B-Town got the opening, right? That's why they pushed so aggressively. And now you see Dauntless, they yeah. might, it might seem like they're running, but they're setting up an angle on the south side. Another player setting up an angle on the north side, so trapping B-Town in on their push. So they're using that knock to their advantage by out-positioning oh, them. This those, is a great... Hit those, Kowalski! This is a great reposition by Dauntless, but can they pick up more points? It doesn't oh, look like it. He had to hit those shots, and he wasn't able to. I think if he got one confirmed there, mm -hmm. he would have been in a good position to kind of punish B-Town even further. So uh, a great play from Dauntless, you know, and that's sometimes you got to do that. You know, you got to realize that, hey, even though we got the knock, we're still at a big disadvantage here. We don't want to take this fight. And I'll tell you what, if you're listening to this, as you're watching the VOD, Black Panthers, mm -hmm. right? You need to take something out of their book right now because that's yeah. exactly what you need to do sometimes is just say, hey, you know what? Let's just, let's just live to fight another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, B-Town. They, they went for the push. It was a 4v3, but they readjusted. They got out there. I think that was great plays from both Dauntless and b -Town. I agree. You know, like, one team fell on the back foot because, you know, they one of their players got knocked and finished. But both play, both teams took advantage and then took advantage of the other team's advantage, and then it, it still made it out. The That's advantage, beautiful. the advantage, bro. That's yeah. advantage squared. It's, uh, it's a clean stalemate, good, clean PUBG mobile action right Good there. old firm handshakes across yeah. the board. Firm Same handshakes, thing. exactly. Firm Both teams, handshakes, yeah. I respect what you did there. 
See I you respect later. what you did there, too. That's right. I'll yeah. see you at the end of the match here. There ain't nothing <laughs> wrong with that because at the end of the day, both these squads, they want a top finish here. Yes. They don't want to lose another player, get a couple eliminations, and then just really just, you know, screw their chance of mm -hmm. trying to get a top three here. But we'll see where all oh, they end up at the end of this. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Oh, look at this. Freaky. I'm gassing up that beautiful vehicle, that two-seater. They're going to go ahead and hop in it, but where's the Lambo? That's exactly what I was about where's to say. Where's the Lambo, bro? Where's the skin on that? That is no... That's not ultimate gaming. Mm -hmm. No, that is uh, medium gaming. That's medium gaming, yeah, 100%. Medium. Yeah, you need that Lambo, dude, to get that confidence. You know, because you know what they say, when you look good, you feel good. Oh, yes, look good, feel good. But I tell you what, hey, if they do really well and they make that money... Oh, oh buying a Lambo immediately. Yes, that's sir. What I would do. Put that down payment, that's for sure, at least, right? <laughs> uh, as we can move on out of the next zone, it's going to be looking up a little bit north of Roshock. So this is going to be an interesting circle finish here. There's still quite a few excellent spots available, mm -hmm. and they are wide open as of right now. So very, very kind of slow rotations here in the Snapdragon Pro Series that gives some of these teams a little bit more breathing room, a little bit more time yeah. to make uh, some plays and take advantage of it. Yeah, there's some good open spots, like you said, open still, but crossing over is a little difficult because these bridge points are huge choke points. And you see on that mini map on your screen, like it is being occupied by multiple teams. So who can rotate in? We see some teams doing a wide wrapping rotation, just like Ultimate Gaming NA right here. And it is working out for them. They might be able to circle in into a really good spot. Yes, indeed. And for everybody that just happens to possibly be tuning in for the first time, this is PUBG Mobile competitive here. It's all about being the last man standing here. Those zones, you can see that blue zone is closing here and it is randomized. It just gets smaller and smaller. Players are forced to fight each other and whoever gets last gets that chicken dinner 15 points oh look at that mm. get to look at that steering wheel in there and again every elimination is one point to their total score so this is one heck of a close one last match those teams at that bottom of the leaderboard middle of the leaderboard want a huge finish here so they're going to be able to be set up for tomorrow private Mm -hmm. Got that bolt action sniper. I want to see it. I want to see someone's wig get split here <laughs> in the Snapdragon Pro Series. We might see it right here. Private. He's got his scope. He's got a nice scope on that M24. He can hit the shots if he's got the aim. They're going to reposition a little bit right here, though, as uh, we do see Black Panthers getting into a fight in that kill feed, uh -oh. picking up some elimination points. Black Panthers, they're on the bottom half of the leaderboard. They need a big one if they want to step it up to try and get to the top. But Dauntless, they're not checking the shed. It's a one oh, no, three not the shed. And it's B Town, too. Oh, no. Rishu, did he hit the crouch? Did they see him? They had to have seen him. Yep, they saw him. Here goes no. Brian. Oh, man, dude. Mm. Brutal. Not to B Town, too. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, wait. Black Panthers? Here they come. Hello. Hello. They're switching the camera against Just for Fun. Just for Fun, too. And, ooh, yeah. Nubez is going to go ahead and back up yours. Oh, oh, gets beat up by that nade. That Ooh. is an eviction notice if I've ever seen it. I think he's going to go ahead and, yeah, put, toss out the 180 smoke oh. into a knock. And look at just for fun with the angles. Nate already set up at oh a huge goodness. angle, just pestering them from the side. And he confirms onto Dior's. Black Panthers, they're just too aggressive. I think they're really good at fighting close range. That's like right. CQC. Together. But when it's expanded out a little bit, they just get out position and it's not looking good. Dauntless making a huge rotation as a circle shifted oh over to goodness. the east. This is what we want to see in the last match, a toxic zone shift all the way on over to the east and pretty much almost every spot here is getting secured very, very quickly. And Black Panthers, like you mentioned, they're so good at fighting together as a team, but just for fun or playing split using the, the tactical mm -hmm. angles and just pick them apart little by little. But hey, just for yeah. fun, they're not out of this just yet. They're still in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it kind of backfired a little bit. That off angle was great, but I think he might have got third party a little bit too far away from the rest of the team as Wildcard pushes on to just for fun. Uh -oh. And two of their players are out in the open and the smoke's trying to get a revive. Tracy, he's got to hold it down 1v2. They need to run back and help him out. But all the meanwhile, oh, Black Panthers, Nubis. they're going for the got revenge him. play. And just for fun. Choking, Marco. choking in the last game of the match. The most crucial one heading into day number two. Polo. They found him. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wild card. And here comes the Black Panthers oh, no. right onto the dirt as they do get knocked. And he stopped in the middle to open to go for the Reds. I oh, do what? not like that play by any means. Mm. That rotation, you got to take the sacrifice, get the finish, and then hopefully he's still up to make something happen. That was just a very simple, simple mistake. And the Black Panthers just got punished for it. You hate to see that. Yeah, I, I have, I'm face palming right now. Yeah, that's bad. Like I get Black Panthers is an aggressive team, but that doesn't mean you push every fight you, the second you see an arc happen. You gotta take yep. some situational take a breath, awareness. Dude. Yeah, like look at this and not to mention now, yeah. I mean, they could have easily rotated further in, they allowed the wild zone. card to push to them. On the high yeah, ground. I mean, it's just, Unbelievable to see right there. Big, simple mistake, and they get taken out early. I mean, mm -hmm. I hope they watch this whole thing back and they look at that speech from Glitter because, I mean, they yeah. really need to take that one to heart. Mm -hmm. We still got a lot of teams not yet in the True. zone. They're still fighting their way in. EXP trying to gatekeep out a team now. EXP not in the zone, but burn in silence. They're trying to get the angles to push on in. But even if they take out EXP, there's another two teams in the zone. This zone, like you said, Hodrix, is a hard, toxic ship. But burn in silence is grenading them out of their position. And here comes Sinner. Got them frags locked and loaded. Oh, Chad thought he saw somebody from behind, and he sure did. And guess what? It's OSS Esports. Burn in silence as well still putting in a ton of work diamonds bad we've seen him get taken out early quite a bit so now he's finally showing up for his squad but this zone's starting to close they gotta get moving yeah they gotta got, get moving and take another fight with another team with the blue zone chunking them look at how much health this player is losing they're trying to circle oh. around find something open but oh. they're going straight into oss and they are not happy that Burn in Silence is trying to take their territory. I'm surprised they didn't try to go for that thirst. You know, get that easy elimination point, steal it away from OSS. But the rest of Burn in Silence, oh my gosh, it's a minefield here. Alf is going to go for the rest here. Ultimate Gaming putting in some work, and down they go. Burn in Silence is eliminated. Nine squads still remaining here in the last match. Yeah, nine squads in the circle. I shifted once again. But Ultimate Gaming, six elimination points. Maybe, you know, they are ultimate gaming. They don't have the skins, okay. not yet, but they have the teamwork. They keep, they're keeping four up. OSS, on the other hand, a lot of teams with four still alive, and we're in the late game. This next circle is going to be really great to see. Oh, yes, indeed. And not to mention the only squad that's really in as we pull it up, it's B-Town. B-Town 2.0. Now, they do have one member that is out of their squad, so it's going to be really up to see how they're going to get this one finished. As we start getting here, the zone is closing. OSS, the team that I have been waiting to see really show up and get that final place finish. Where are they going? It doesn't look like they have a clue. Like, it looks like they're just kind of just driving around trying to find a spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have a spot. I think they're trying to scout out more info because they want more. Oh, hold. Oh, Beat my down. goodness. Great defense. Terrible push by the other team. Yep. And, oh, he's oh! going to shoot up. Oh, he's hitting Got up. Him! Oh, what a wipe. Goodbye. Skills of mind getting the toes shot off right there mm -hmm. under the wall. Nowhere to hide for them. And B Town secure that gas station. Said, This is my territory. Gas prices, they're too high. As you said. <laughs> they're too high. You got to pay the fee, and they did not have enough to, to take that spot. Oh, nope. skills of mind getting eliminated. OSS. Okay, this is their big game. Yes, if it is. They have four up. They're on the high ground. If they could clean this one out, they put themselves back up near the top because they're in the second page. Yes, yeah, they have to get it done now, and they know it. I mean, this is the team that led the entire leaderboard coming up into this final, so a lot of expectations for them. I guarantee you it's probably already in their Twitter bio that they were the first place going into this mm -hmm. one, right? So they won't, They don't want to have to take that down, Zute. No way. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you put it on your Twitter bio... Oh, it's over. You better have the bite to bark or to back up the bark That's right, right. so right. we'll see we'll see b-town they're utilizing the smoke suit they have one player playing on the outside of the gas station kind of risky but i like this they're being proactive i and like they're it. using the smokes yep. to you know put a little safety net over this proactive aggressive play they don't want any team pushing up on them for free so i really like the fact that johnny's out here it's just gonna apply that pressure yes. but still staying in that smoke being very very careful here eight eliminations on the side of b-town as well zute mm -hmm. yeah wild B -town. card gone a wild card eliminate b-town this is a completely oh, oh the lasers through the smoke B-Town, after winning that Sandhawk, this is looking like a completely different team. Like, 100%. talk about momentum, right? 
This is a big time for them to shine, and they were way down on the leaderboards just a couple matches ago, and they finally rocket launched themselves on the first page, but they say, I want to be on top of the first place here. Not to mention, 10 eliminations are on the board as well, Zute. Yeah, for Puppeteers, that's the team that B-Town's taking shots at. I mean, it, we, we are missing so much action just because it's action, 360, That's all right. around. I don't know when Puppeteers picked up 10, but if they could convert that 10 into like a top three finish here, that could also put them up in contention for top three. But let's see where this zone takes us. Wide in the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Such a tough circle zone shift for all of these teams. They're going to have to just try to get in there desperately. You can see Boog trying to get something happening here. Alexino looking for some angles, trying to throw the long nade, jumping nade to catch somebody. That looks like he's, I don't know if he's got the arm for that one, but he is. Look at this Karma, TPP peeking, and right now he's just spotting, trying to figure out where do we go. Yeah. I mean, everything's, party. everything's wide in the open, no he cover. Comes. He's going to drive Risky. on in. Finds a tree. That's an okay spot. He's got to go prone. There we go. He hits that prone, but immediately he has his sights trained on the gas station. That's B-Town. They got to evict that area too. That's a nice thick tree, too. That's the kind of tree you want there. Mm -hmm. We'll see here as the rest of the squad is trying to find a way in as well. Do they be oh. able to get the spots? It looks like they did be able to see somebody, but not able to get the finish. Here comes B-Town, though, from across the way. Eight eliminations. J-Star, last place team eliminated mm -hmm. here. So they're going to have a tough time tomorrow. But B-Town, they want to be up on top of this leaderboard. Eight eliminations, three players up. Here they come. Every team jockeying for position right now. Bo down to two man. They just full sent it to the middle because they know they can't fight their way in and they're getting punished now for it by the puppeteer team. I was saying if they could convert oh, this into a top three, goodness. 12 eliminations and they kind of have a whole northern side of the circle for themselves. They have that huge ridge to work with. This could be a huge game. OSS coming on from the southern side. This is going to be shaping up to a, be a huge fight and they take them down. Gone and dusted. There goes Bo Esports. I always said you know you can't teach clutch but we got some squads trying to earn their clutch badge today oh, ripped busted out. out the vehicle here comes brz esports putting on some work to oss brz no eliminations by the way but four up they really need this one i like where jinx's position is he's the one stopping puppeteers from peeking using that ridge he's got to make sure though he stays alive if he goes down oh, no not the zone puppeteers will run away with everything oh here comes jinx gonna go ahead and move out into the wide open just hoping that grass is a little bit tall hopefully he can take off his backpack and try to mm -hmm. reduce his sight lines a little bit further but so far so good doesn't look like anybody sees him and that is an off angle there puppeteer 14. 14 eliminations, and they want 15. OSS just in a tough position. Puppeteer, they got this one in the bag. I mean, we may see a new record here in the last game. Yeah, Puppeteers, they got the zone, too. And they have a nice ridge to work with right there. And it, it all comes down to Jinx, like I said. Oh! And just to say that Jinx goes down, that gives a whole yep. northern ridge line over to the Puppeteers. And with that TPP peak advantage, Big they chilling. have free reign over OSS and VRZ. This is Puppeteer's game. They just need to convert it now. Yeah, you can see I like what Alexino's doing. So he's hopping in that back of that buggy there to get a little bit more TPP peak advantage. But oh, the smoke does go down and he goes right back to that laydown. Yeah, lucky for him, he was able to survive that one. There this we is going to be a tough finish, but the Puppeteers, they, they have this one in the bag. 15 eliminations so far, only mm -hmm. two more to match the record. Three to beat it. Yeah, I love what Reckless is doing here, too. They took down a player there, so they're still being worried. He's driving around circles, making sure that edge side is completely uh -oh, clear. Challenge. And here's that TPP peak advantage from the ridge line. You see VRZ oh, not in a good spot. Goodness. Reckless just peek up a little bit. Oh, he actually gets taken down, but the trade is there, and they can't push over. Puppeteers oh. have this in the bag. Not to mention you got OSS putting in some work from the side. I mean, every single team is just battling each other. Meanwhile, Puppeteers do have that entire ridge line to yourselves. Like you said earlier, Karma mm -hmm. is too far away to get res here. And it's just one remaining member from VRC. But here comes Yi, looking to clean it all up. 16 eliminations. Oh, 17. Call it 17. Matthew call it 18. 20. Call it 20. Oh, my goodness. 21. 21. It is 21. 21. 21. Got him. That is how you get it done. Last game of day number one here in the Snapdragon Pro Series by PMCO. What more do you want? 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. Goodness gracious. That is...
That's insane. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's more than some teams have the entire day today. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. That's a crazy. So puppeteers, mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see this leaderboard yeah. here at the end of the day because they have just went to the moon. To the moon, and they are going to keep going. I, I was saying it, uh, Jigs, if they could convert. I, when I pointed out they were at 10 eliminations, I was like, when did Puppeteers get these 10 eliminations? But when I noticed that, I was saying, if they could convert these eliminations into a win, they could really make it back into the contention for top three. That's exactly what they did, Glitter. Yeah, and that's after Puppeteers had already had a strong second place finish. Yeah. And that's now followed up by, hands down, the biggest factually, one. Mm -hmm. the best performance that we have seen. Yeah. I mean, to close out the day, and this is what I was saying, closing out the day with 21 Elims, that's obscene, 21? okay? And that is putting them in the position on the leaderboard that they want to be in moving into tomorrow because it allows them a little bit of grace if they can't repeat that type of a performance tomorrow. That, I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, I don't think we're going to see another performance like that today. I mean, it's crazy to see just how well that this team just played right here. I mean, to put up that kind of eliminations, even in a regular match, is ridiculous, let alone mm -hmm. here in the SPS. Uh, hold on, like just 21, right? Here's how we can break it down. There are four players on a squad. Okay. How many teams they take down? Let's do one, oh two, gosh. three, four yeah. times five. At least five. So that's, that, they took out like five teams. Five teams. Plus one. Yeah. Plus one and the chicken to top it all off. It's good I love math. it. I love it. I love <laughs> the day. It was a fantastic time. And like I said, to close out the day, that's what we wanted. Yes. yes. We were looking. I mean, actually, that might be more than what we wanted. Right? Honestly. I don't see how <laughs> yeah, that is more than what I was, I was like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, we were asking for good performances, and we got a great performance as we take a look back on the highlights from this final match. I mean, the pinnacle of performances there. We can't ask for anything better than that. And it was puppeteers at the end of the day. I don't know. I, I can't wait to like look back at this and look at those predictions, you know, mm -hmm. in that Twitch chat to see who picked puppeteers. Because I'll tell you what, whoever did, I mean, their crystal ball is clear as day. Mm -hmm. Puppeteer, they they brought they busted out the baronet strings at the very end, oh. and they played everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, like because no one really was expecting them. True. Right. We didn't talk about them throughout the day. Sure, they got that second place finish on mm -hmm. Sandhawk, but the talk of the town was B Town. Sure. Yep. Right. Because they won, and now this last game, Puppeteers, yeah, they played everyone. I mean, to be fair, though, you're talking about B-Town. B-Town also did well in this match. They, they obviously did. did not match that Puppeteer's mm -hmm. performance, but we've talked oh, about the Oh, my goodness. Look at no this. No way. Are you wait, wait, me? look at the point spread. Yeah, yep. exactly. It's nothing. Puppeteer, first place. Okay. 52, 52, 51, 50, 50. What? But look at this. Look at this. Look at the whole first page. Anybody's game. And what's crazy, too, is that we've talked about consistency in both categories. You need mm -hmm. both, right? Because, okay, yes, Puppeteers, incredible performance. 21 of those elims of the 29 <laughs> yeah. were from this That's last ridiculous. match. That's okay? A, that's insane. And everyone else, with the exception of Dauntless, is in the mid to high 20s for the elims as well. Mm -hmm. So even with that incredible performance, we've seen consistency out of a lot of these teams that are keeping them up yeah. there. And, I mean... Come oh on, you gosh. said you said oh, this, man. you jinxed it, Zoo, because at the beginning of the day, you're like, you know what, it's going to end up being one point that separates third and fourth, fourth and fifth. Well, they've already given it to you. This is, I, I wasn't expecting all the way from, the, <laughs> right? Like, you heard me counting out the 50, like. Let me tell you the I, math. I can't. <laughs> Let me tell you the math, all right? Puppeteer okay. had, I believe it was, what, 23 points before this right. match? Right? right. 36 points mm -hmm. is what they got in one game alone. Mm -hmm. More than double, a double and a half their entire day's performance in one match. And that's yes. why it is so important. As we take a look here at the second page, OSS chipping away at it right outside that first page bubble. They're now mm -hmm. in ninth place, so they're doing a little bit better. But these are the squads that are going to be in a rough spot tomorrow. Oh, mm -hmm. super rough spot. I mean, it's crazy to see, though, just how close that first page is. So all these teams here in the second page, if they pop off in game number one, mm -hmm. they could be right in that talk with all the rest of these squads as well. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to say, like, can we change top three to top five? <laughs> right? I feel like these, man, 
some more of these teams a shot. Like, how well yeah, they're come playing? On. Like, this is crazy. Give give more of these teams a chance. Like, uh, like top three is a brutal cutoff. But I mean, I guess at the end of the day, that's what makes the best. You know, that's what separates the best from the best. Put you gotta up. be the best of the best to make it into that pro league. But Put I mean, or shut up. I was not expecting this. I'll be honest. Out of PMCO, the action. The, the closeness of the points, yep. oh my gosh. I love that it feels like every season of these, we're getting that a little bit more higher caliber competition. We're getting a little bit mm -hmm. more skill yes. out of our players. And every time they're improving, and I love to see that just in PUBG Mobile in general because that's mm. what, especially we talk about it all the time. We're looking for the greats yes. out of NA. Okay, yeah. we want people to come here and make a name for themselves because that's the whole point of this entire thing. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely, indeed, right? Who's going to be the superstars? Who's going to be the next name that we are shouting when it comes to the pinnacle of PUBG Mobile Esports when we got millions of dollars on the line here? Yeah. I mean, it's just so crazy to see, and I think we're starting to see some names here. Yeah, it's, I mean, 21 eliminations, puppeteers. If they could keep this up, I mean, that's, that's a team that I'm going to be like, hey, I was there. I was there on their right? go-up mm -hmm. when they picked up that one yeah. game that launched them into the stratosphere and potentially way more on into the future, Glitter. We will have to see if they're able to replicate that tomorrow. But you mentioned there's lots on the line. There is. And if you missed exactly what that is, it's not only those three spots, the PMNC, but we've got a prize pool here, folks. Okay, first Ooh. place, taking home $5,500. But, of course, everyone that's made their way here, it was a slog to get here to begin with. So everyone will be taking home a little bit of cash, but it's the pride points. It's those three top spots, and it is the, the top prize that they're fighting for. It's just so crazy to think all, what all the teams had to do to even get here. I mean, yeah. you're talking hundreds of squads in the in-app qualifiers just from NA alone. Across the whole world, over 4,000 teams. I mean, that is ridiculous. That's, that's like over 10,000 players. Ridiculous here, Zoo. Yeah, that's so many teams, and it's just a lot of that action, you know, just happened on the end game map, which yep. is crazy to me because it's like it just it's all systemized, and it all funnels in. We say it again and again, the pinnacle, the top. And right now, we're at the grassroots. And it's just the action, though, at the grassroots, it's, it's, as, it's, it's as exciting as mm -hmm. the PMPL. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 100%. Totally. 100%. Absolutely. So, I mean, hopefully we get that's the type of action we get tomorrow, okay? Because that's a wrap on this first. So you guys did fantastic. Thank you so much for carrying the show you throughout the no. first five games. We've got five more tomorrow. They're going to be an absolute blast. But like I said, day one, Snapdragon Pro Series by PMCO is complete. But make sure you're coming back because we've got another day tomorrow before we crown a champion and a top three to qualify through to that PMNC. It's going to be a very exciting day and you do not want to miss it. Like always, huge thanks to our sponsors, Snapdragon Elite Gaming, Monster Energy, DHL, and the U.S. Air Force. On behalf of myself, my co-casters, and everyone behind the scenes here at ESL Studios, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And it's all over there.